So let's go ahead and jump back into the game where we are dealing with Liz and Ard. We were just chasing them not that long ago. Attempt to switch scenes for the first time. No pressure. Okay, we did it. <laughs> also modified the look a bit there. It sounds better now. That's good. Yeah, I just made them the settings match a little more closely. Let me put chat on the big screen again. There we go. I can read you easier now. Should be good to go. Just let me plug this back in. <laughs> it's like controller detected. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this thing will, will fix itself. If we if we feel that there's something off with the, the quality, just let me know. As I said before, I just made a match what we had earlier. I wonder if forcing it to be like... Literally 6,000 kilobits per second was throwing it off. Intro. <laughs> Stupid intro cutscene, I don't need you right now. We're like 15 hours of the game, please stop playing it. Killing me. So anyway, chat, just let me know if you need me to bump up the game volume. Fine, we'll take the codec call. It says, the data tablet pattern shows they're now heading northwest. That's northwest from here. <laughs> Chad, I know I'm just waking up, but did we really just have a line of dialogue that says they're going north of us, and then the other person responds, they're co it's northwest from here? <laughs> did we really just have that? Like, I know I'm, like, only barely awake, but I know, I know Blue Donna. Why indeed? I, d I don't understand. I mean, like, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> yes, Northwest is in fact Northwest of here. I mean, it's just one of those things where, like, you know... <laughs> I, I know I'm not the this most awake special. first thing in the morning, but jeez. I bet they're trying to get through Green Hell. Okay, it... You know, they're calling it Green Hell. Is it just, like, hell that is green? Is it supposed to be Green Hill? Are we gonna be in mountains? I don't know what to expect, honestly, with the translation. Green hell. Did you say green hell? Yes. Green hell is a trail through the northwest forest. The green hell trail is the only way to escape this area. Even animals can't get out. The tablet's pattern still indicates northwest movement. We'll just have to trust the saurus. Follow them. Stay on them like a bloodhound. Well, I might as well search around a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really sure why they call it Green Hell. The Green Hell Trail is a trail, you're not wrong. It may or may not be northwest of our current location. We believe those filthy liars. Oh, I should have taken that encounter, actually. You know, I'm trying to search. There we go. Okay, now I want the encounter to go off. There we go, we'll take it. We should hopefully get the surprise attack here. Oh, we're apparently very injured. Guess I'll first aid into murder. That's a good combo. 
I mean, fortunately, we should always be going first. The odds of me dying are pretty low. <laughs> Especially if they attack that character. Then they're just foolish. I mean, I'll at least show off the other monsters. I don't have a reason to, like, skip fights, per se. I at least want to see one of each enemy. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We know where Green Hell is. Unless this is the area at the very beginning of the game, why isn't every location like this? Why do I have to search for them? I, f I can find a forest trail, but I can't find a city. How does that work? Ashley must fight alone. Uh oh, this is annoying. It's our most injured character. Um, multi blast. Well, good thing I healed, right, chat? Oh, or they're just all gonna leave, so I waste my ammo on something that's not even gonna attack us. Cool. What? That was a waste. Damn it, Ashley, you're too slow. Congratulations, you did the multi blast, but only one enemy remained. Okay, how much damage am I even taking from this? Not a lot. Can I just block? Gela crazy. Are you robbing me? What is that? That did a lot. Are, are my other comrades going to show up at some point? I think they did last time. My friends caught up. There we go. I just like to heal so that I'm not at like literally zero HP. Because, you know, I could just do this at the start of every combat now, as a reminder. Okay, 2100 health is good enough. The Northwest Green Hell in the Northwest stands no chance against the low, it's true. Oh. Oh, so, so, oh, so he really did do the equivalency of Gil Toss on us. So he did 500 because he has 500. That's just rude. So if I take too long, I don't even get a good reward from the fight. Wow, this area sucks. Let's move on, chat. Screw this place. <laughs> Enemies just leave combat, and then they also just don't give you any money. Terrible. I guess this is the same place we're in before? It's been a while. It, it looks like the same from the beginning. The star says, there should be a small village on the other side of the forest. Okay, it is the same one. As long as they're cutting through the forest too, they're bound to leave clues. Do you know anything about the village, Thesaurus? Thesaurus dot dot dots. Hmm. Small village is a small village, you're right. Let's go. Their footprints lead directly north. Thesaurus, you didn't answer their question. Thesaurus, you don't talk very much about yourself, do you? Oh, we're having trauma flashbacks? There we go. You know we're off to a good start when... dot dot dot. Just don't have anything worth talking about. Let's hurry. The longer we wait, the harder the pursuit. They could try to fight me. I'm pretty sure I'm just... Oh, I was surprised? Okay, maybe they'll have a chance to hurt me. You're using magic against the magic character? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, you're meleeing. Maybe you'll hurt me? Oh, it's not possible for them to hurt me. What a shame. Oh, I don't have enough to do just water attack yet. One day, chat. One day. Just imagine, chat. He's gonna start with 50 at some point.
I like how you use their elemental resistance and it still one shot them. That's a classic right there. We call that a flex. Oh, that reminds me, are we even learning any techniques with him still? I know we got a new ability recent-ish. Want to confirm? Alright, so I need to get 47 kills? Or is that three more? I forget how to read that, to be honest with you. Maybe just three more. Yeah, maybe the 50 was the cause, now that I think about it. Oh, there's a chest over here. Heal berry. Sorry about that. Okay, encounter rate. You need to go a little further down. I don't appreciate every encounter being a surprise. A little bit. I at least want to be able to delay encounters. Sweet smell. Seriously? One day, Chad, we will have immunity to those annoying status ailments. These criticals guaranteeing the one shot. Oh, human experiment is terrible. This one is like every status ailment. Oh, did they nerf it in this game? I mean, I'll take it, listen. If you remember, the bonus people in Wild Arms 1 did that, and that would be like Poison, Silence, Confuse, etc. So if that's all they want to do with it, I'm okay with that. They can whiff hard all they want. Uh, so I got the chest from before. There we go, I can finally choose to skip an encounter. Okay, so if I miss any items, it looks like they don't respawn from last time. This is just literally the beginning of the, the game again. It is funny seeing the girl chuck it, though, I'm not gonna lie. Those power arms. Yeah, as we dropped down this way before to get some items, I'm just gonna get healing in case I still need it. We're almost at the village. I'll let the encounter go through. I'm not gonna skip this one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda tempted to get the cost down, because I'm definitely never gonna hit level 99, unless there's some other exploit. So having my ability to do the AoE three levels sooner might actually be worth it for me, because I don't think I care about the other ones, unless I just want to get insta-death immunity. I guess I should learn what- okay, so if they use water, what is the weakness of water? It's not... Oh, are they just magic resistant in general? Because they use two different elements there and they resist both. I mean, it's not going to help them, but good to know, I guess. It is funny seeing us get outsped by the other creatures, and then hello just goes first. Damn, double critical, GG. I mean, sadly, I guess we still kind of need money. I don't need XP, but I do need to acquire money if I want to get other upgrades. We have enough to, like, full upgrade one of our weapons, and that's about it. But does anything happen if we go back to this house? That's what I was kind of curious about.
Yeah, hello is kind of a god right now. Just think, Chad. We could have, in theory, hit, hit level 99 if we got really bored. Oh, there is like a little shack back here. I missed last time. What's in here? Big berry. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Well, I mean, I guess there is a reason to come back here, so oops. I guess I just never thought I'd go in behind the building. To be fair, camera angle. I'm never a big fan of when I have to rotate it. To another fight just in case there's more enemy types, but I think we're good for a little bit. So how do people use this normally? Welcome, Rob. Hope you're doing well. Right? Like, presumably they set that up to do something, but it's like, do they do they just have a gap that just no one can cross? There's not even like a device to turn it or anything. Okay, so it just seems to have universal resistance. My audio set up different, indeed. Chad, I would love to skip the uh, animations on some of these things. Maybe critical is a regret choice. Because if I just one-shot them like this, I don't really need the critical. So yeah, we're kind of breaking in a new PC to gaming while the other one gets repaired. Probably going to be a little roughness on the first couple of streams. There's the signs from the beginning of the game. I guess I should get into some fights in case the enemies upgraded, I guess. There's a lot of enemies. Okay, so hello just outspeeds the enemy, so it does not matter what I do here. That's good. We now have the lightning AoE. Hopefully you're doing well, Rob. So far, it seems like similar enemies to what we fought in the forest, which is fair. Go this way. Hmm. allow one more fight just in case there's a rare enemy or something just to say that I went for it once nope actually how much damage does hello do in melee oh we'll never know I guess
Random black spiky guys seem pretty rare. They're not. They're they're pretty common, sadly. Bonk Village. I think they were in like eight out of ten encounters. The star says the scenery hasn't changed since then. But it'd still be the same. I've changed much since that day. Nothing stays the same, no matter what form it is. Is something the matter? It's nothing. Forget it. Let's keep following those guys. We'll make a save. Yeah, we'll keep today's session a little on the shorter end. This has been bad since the Civil War ended five years ago. Please buy what you need here. Oh, pff. you're an arms dealer. Why are you talking about business as bad? Pick you. Oh, you were just like a regular merchant. Magazine is cool. Don't get greedy. Uh, I just want to make sure things are recording okay. So if I have to redo portions of the game, it shouldn't be too bad. Pretty chest takes a powerful blow to open. Arm lawnmower acquired. Lawnmower is a heavy arm for Thesaurus. Close of rounds attack all of your enemies at once. Lawnmower. Certainly a weapon choice. Hmm. Do I full upgrade this weapon? I mean, having an AoE nuke seems useful. Maybe? Great names, the chat is on fire. That didn't name that one, sadly. of anything. In fact, there's no items to find in this village at all. Wow, this village sucks. Unless they're, like, in the homes. There's a dog. I'm gonna avoid going near that. It feels like cutscene. These were heading for the desert on the western continent. Okay. Sorry, but if you want to see the village elder, you'll have to come back later. Helping the wounded now. Yeah, imagine a village where you can't just rob everything. What a bad village. Wow, there's not even an item in here. Wow. I'm gonna rate this village a 0 out of 10, chat. Would not visit again. Well, well. Fancy this. Stop that this instant. Don't bother the travelers with all your horseplay. Oh, hi, mister. Then my name isn't mister. Is that you? Oh no, enter the dog's name. Oh no. Was that I think this is the one we rescued from the beginning of the game, I think. Oh boy, chat. I, I know why do they have more than one dog? I just No, we're not aiming at that. Uh, I don't even know. Why are there? Why is there more than one dog to name in this game? So many questions. I hope Wild Arms Three does not make me name this many characters. I'm having character name fatigue. We're on like what the seventeenth character named. We have like everybody's love interest named. Their animals. Jeez. It doesn't even give a suggestion for this name. Right? At least the other ones give it <laughs> another one. 
I mean, it kind of feels like it. Does that even fit? I don't think so. Maybe it does? Oh, it does by a little bit. We'll call it another one. How could you forget Brad? I know it's been five years, but still. Let's see, you must be... It's me, Meryl. Not the same Meryl you knew before. I'm 17 now. We all have to look our age, including Brad and me. You doubt that thoughts. All this time, I'd hope that we'd get the chance to meet again. After you left, mister, I asked why everyone called you a hero. Yeah, I think they also forgot that that's not what we named the character. Oh. Was that trying to remember the dog? Maybe. I Honestly, I almost thought she got a new dog. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think we got chastised for getting it was named Brad. After you left, mister, I asked why everyone called you a hero. And asked why a hero like you would be chased down and captured like that. You're not a bad man anymore, right, mister? That's why you're here now, right? No, I'm still a prisoner. I've been a prisoner ever since that day. I wanted to see you so that I could show you someone. You were taken away. Brad told me he was in the forest, unconscious. I think he was in the Slayham Liberation Army, like you. You need to book a name at Fido, maybe. This is the place. Come on inside. Well, I'll be. Do you know him? That I do. Oh, thank goodness. We had this on him. This is his name, right? Oh, c I'm just... <laughs> Chat, come on. Stop it. How are we still naming characters? We're like 15 hours in the game. Game, please. Okay, you know what, chat? We're calling him Fido. I I'm giving up. <laughs> Listen. Listen, he's now a Fido, chat. We're, we're, we're closing the loop. No more characters. Fido. Fido Pilder. He's a very close friend of mine. I'm happy for you. Well, I guess you could say he's one of our best friends. But he must have amnesia from his fever and injuries. He keeps mumbling that his name is Thesaurus Evans. Oh well. He's your friend. That's enough for me. Oh no, did we steal- Wait, wait hold on. Wait, hold on. Did we swap identities? It, are we gonna have like a really complex lies where we <laughs> we took the other guy's presumed identity and then named the dog that identity? Then we assumed Billy's identity, but we renamed ourselves to another character. And then Billy took the dog's identity. There we go. I, maybe maybe it's going full triangle. The Saurus dot dot dots though. I know you're glad to see your friend, but I have bad news. We weren't able to heal him, in body or mind. Enough for me, to, for me that I got to see him alive. I mean, I'm grateful to you. Sle Sleham expanded its military against the people's wishes. Many small rebel groups staged scattered uprisings, but they were too unorganized. Then there were, appeared a man who united the opposition into the Slayheim Liberation Army. That man's name was Vincefeld... Oh, man. Rhodomanthus. That's the name of my former commanding officer. Thesaurus, Vincefeld was your commanding officer? Holy cow, so Thesaurus, you and Vincefeld were buddies? But Vincefeld is the ringleader of Odessa. Why would the Liberation Army turn to terrorists? 
Why would they turn terrorists, Chad? I heard people in my village say it was Vincefeld's. Charisma and the bravery of the Saurus Evans and his companions that enabled the Liberation to defeat the military despite their small numbers. He and I were always fighting side by side, but he disappeared during the final operation. When the fighting was over, we Liberation Army veterans were blamed for the entire war. We were treated like war criminals. That's right, it was all a clever trap set and sprung by Vinsfeld. Wow. I don't care what anyone says. Brown and I know you're not a bad, ni bad man. Didn't you surrender to spare our village five years ago? Besides, you helped the recruits from our village at Grenhell, right? No one in the village thinks you're a bad man, mister. So five years later, I returned to this village which should have been the site of my grave. That scumbag Vincefeld formed Odessa and came back before me. He betrayed me and my friends. I'll never forgive him. But why did you keep quiet about this for so long? Who think you were once friends with our em enemy, Vincefeld? I'm sorry. Thought it was between me and him. I wanted to settle it myself. I never intended to involve you in my private vendetta. Hey, we're all comrades in arms, right? That makes you our buddy, right, Thesaurus? So what if you and Vincefeld were buddies then, Thesaurus? You're not anymore, right? That's right. I'm a member of our sworn enemy of Odessa. Let's focus on the present. Thieves who stole the data tablets were traced to this village. Just ahead is the ocean. It must have crossed the sea to, to the continent. Make sense? The desert in the northwest is where Sleheim once was. Knowing Vinsfeld, he could use he could be using the abandoned facilities there as a base of operations. There's a town called Quarterly near there. Start gathering information there. But it'll be hard to get to Sleheim without a boat. We left the hovercraft a long ways from here. And Quarterly it is. The long shot, but it's the best we have. Tomorrow we'll figure out a way to get to Sleheim. There has to be a way. Aid to black. So glad you're all right. I was so worried. I didn't even know where you went or even if you were all, all right. Bill Jeldra says, I'm grateful for what you did on that day five years ago. Without your help, we could not have escaped. It was so kind-hearted of you to surrender for our sake. Fido just says, thesaurus, thesaurus, people... People break, haha. Ha. Okay. See, you're a friend of Fido's. Don't worry about Fido. We'll take good care of him. The so Fido's doing well. Our first item. Rest. Okay. Barks. That bread is a handful. He has a strange habit of collecting junk and bringing it to people he likes. Teleport orb acquired. Data tablet acquired. Look, the data tablets. They've been destroyed. They realize we're using their pattern to track them. Whoever did this knew a lot about data tablets. They erase the memory. Looks like the trail runs cold here. Time for good old fashioned marching. On to Slay Hunt. What's this? It's a teleport item. This we could teleport to any town we visited at least once before. Oh. We got the equivalency of Blinking Mirror early. But I never did have much luck with this type of item. Hmm. Is that a hint that that's if we can bad luck teleport somewhere, like in the first game? I wonder if we're gonna oops on the teleport orb. Next time we have bad luck, we'll try it. Old oh, Village is so glad you're all right, Thesaurus. Especially my daughter, Meryl. It wasn't a day she didn't think of you. Mm. Man, the font is making my eyes, like, glaze over. There it is. 
So I'm assuming it's just the same as the teleport item I grabbed. And it doesn't have any functional difference. Unless it can only go to towns. Maybe the other one is, still has a purpose. I could go back to the hovercraft. Okay, so these are functionally the same. Hmm. I guess the question is where to go. They said it's in the northwest of where we are currently. Or whatever. We've been to the desert before, but I don't remember anything. So, like... I think it's just directly south of where we were. I guess I just go back to the hovercraft. Okay, I'll use the teleport gems to save some menu time, I guess. Hmm. So at some point we need to... I think we have to go through here in order to get to the desert area. I could be misremembering. do anything with the waterfall yet. So, okay, so I'm gonna remember to come back to the waterfall later. I mean, I'll take the encounter. I did try to skip it just then. Oops. This should be good. Goodbye, Kelpies. This should be the desert where we couldn't do anything. So now, are we going to be able to find the thing that I couldn't get to before? I was assuming when it was changing colors, that's where the ruins would be. Okay, time to go desert hunting. I'm not gonna lie, this just feels like busy work from the game standpoint. Like, can't you just show me a massive town? Why do I have to hunt for it manually? Like, I'm okay with, like, hidden areas, but it, like, it's a massive- like, how do we not see the town? Crazy, Chad. It's like when we can't find the mountains. It's like, hello? Like, this should be the easiest thing to find. Yeah, like, it doesn't really... Like, I'm not really in the game universe. I'm just pausing, like, every few steps to figure out arbitrarily where they put this down. So I'm assuming it means it's in here somewhere. If I'm going based off the color... I could try the center again. We were here before and didn't find anything, but they at least mentioned a town, so maybe we'll be allowed to do something. Kill Shred is quite an ability name. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh, it insta kills. Oh. Welcome, Charlie. 
Wow. Okay. Well, let's not fight this. That's really cheap. Chat, can we have a round of applause? I I love. I love that so much. I love being one shot for no reason. I love that I didn't even have an opportunity to do anything about that either. Just die straight up. Alright, so it's like, how how in the desert is it? Like, I'm surprised we haven't seen it through our radius ability. Is it where is this town? I feel like I explored everywhere in the center. I feel very confused. Is this not the desert that they were talking about before? I'm very tempted to look up a map chat. You have no idea. <laughs> just like, I'm just like, it's kind of like when we were playing Wild Arms 1 and it was like, just one of those things. Do have some information about quarterly here. Reach quarterly, go up the river, which flows into the southwest part of the inland sea. Yeah, we did that. To be able to reach the desert from the coast, we're at least a town on a bridge spanning a huge rift valley known as Big Valley. All the information I have. Like, did, did I have to view that in order to do this? We'll find out in a moment, John. Because there is, like, the castle over there that I can't reach. trying so hard to give me an encounter. Fine, I'll go back to where the color was changing. You happy, game? Where, where is this place? Come on. Game, please. Where is it? So I've now gone through the exact center of the desert. It's giving me pity cash, because I've done that so many times. What the heck is this town? <sighs> right, chat, just... Okay. I was gonna roll my eyes, chat. Just okay. Didn't realize quarterly was literally going to be a bridge. Ron, Dean. Damn, that damage is so high. Quarterly. The town of Quarterly was built on a stone bridge over a big valley, a huge, huge fissure in the earth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, chat, is. I'm gonna try using the teleport orb a couple times with, uh. Vicky 2 at some point to see if maybe we could get to a secret area, but we'll wait a little bit on it. Got a killer selection, hey? Got this stuff through a secret connection of mine. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, does their damage matter? Yes. Yeah. 
make the damage up. I don't know if the anything else matters. The fortune teller here. You have a crest craft. Why not make a new spell? you're all trained soldiers, I don't mean to tell you your business. There's something that's been bothering me. You notice that wherever you go, your foes Odessa always appear there too? Would it be that information about what you're doing is being leaked to Odessa? Wow, that was strangely specific. Thank you. I mean, I imagine Villain is working with Odessa to some extent. The whole town is talking about this suspicious looking group that came here. They bought whatever they could get their hands on, then headed for the southern desert. Is that Odessa? Hmm. Phil Aim betraying us never? Yeah, you're right. Oh, whoa. Well, you s Well, that was like the biggest cutscene pull of all time. Did you see that pull me away from where I was walking? That was ridiculous. <laughs> like, I touched the door and the camera is like, no, 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 no. You want to go in the exact opposite direction to talk to this person. Thanks, game? Question mark. One-eyed female Merc says, I need someone to help me exercise monsters. Interested? Exercise monsters? The Merc specializes in monster exorcism. She must be one. I need a little help exercising monsters in Slayham Castle. Hello, but I... It's settled then. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. The exorcism starts tomorrow. I'll see you then. Oh no, Chad. You know, you know we're gonna have to name this character. You, you know deep in your heart of hearts if we're gonna name this character. Ashley says, wait, I don't know anything about you. That hasn't stopped us from naming characters, Ashley. How am I supposed to work with you when I don't even know your name? Ooh, this character is a portrait. This might be a playable character. Anybody want to name the female Merc with one eye? Chad is happy. And we're finally getting another party member at some point. Fido number two? Damn. Color eye. Hmm. We could make eye puns, I guess. See, if I thought she was more like a ninja character, I would have called her eye spy. But, I don't know. I feel like she's gonna be more either like a fist user or a swordsman. I'm not really sure. I don't get the vibe that she's gonna be like ninja-esque. I'll put it that way. I mean, if it was a guy, I would have named the character Patches. Patchly? Oh no. <laughs> Miss. Oh man, chat. I, that is gonna get confusing. I, I don't want to name it too closely to Bashley. <laughs> Irene? Ooh, I kind of like that one. Chat. Let's call her Irene. The name's Irene. Irene. That's what people call me. That's all you need to know. There's so many E's, yeah. You're Bashley Winchester. Oh, like Winchester Rifle. I see what they did there. Irene, huh? She knew who you were, Bashley. <laughs> oh no, can you imagine if I named somebody Terrace Pharma? 
she didn't even say when or where we're supposed to meet. The other me senses something, but I can't put my finger on it. Just who is Irene anyway? We'll find out tomorrow, when we go to Slayheim Castle. For now, let's just get some rest. Oh, don't force me to sleep. Oh, you're gonna ruin my luck totals. What the ominous music? Nisaurus, it's about Slayheim Castle. Hey, where are you? Nisaurus, where were you? I wanted to ask you about Slayheim Castle. Sorry about that. Slayheim Castle is located at the northeastern edge of the Salt Flats. How strange. The Saurus was evasive. But why? No, I mustn't doubt him. I can't trust the guy I fought side by side with. Who can I trust? What is it, Bashley? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Forget it. Get to Slayheim Castle. We must cross the desolate Salt Flats. Salt Flats are haunted by ghosts. Don't let them lead you astray. Haunted by ghosts. Hmm. I'm a ghost. Oh, I just noticed my audio is missing on this scene for the alerts. I mean, I think it played for the chat, but I didn't hear it. I'll fix that later. Yeah, I have one to let me hear the audio more specifically, because I mute the alerts by default. Why it's not there. I could just copy the source, not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Teleport orb to... How many locations? Um, where do I want to go with the teleport orb? I mean, I guess I could see if any of the people have comments on the teleport orb. Because she mentioned that she's bad with it. But maybe if I talk to them about it, we'll get a backstory on it. Although, actually, wait a minute. Didn't we have a... Didn't we talk to somebody in a library a while back? Yeah, one second. I'm trying to remember. That's the problem with pausing the game for a while. I think they mentioned that they went to a place that couldn't be reached by land or sea. I think? Is it you that told us this? Yearly report from Mr. Day. He sent off with some crazy... I mean, he's on an assignment. Video. He was sent by magic to a place that cannot be reached by land or sea. Okay, so I am remembering that correctly, so maybe that is a trigger needed for the oops to happen. I'm surprised I remembered that, to be honest with you, chat. Because <laughs> that was just like a very random conversation with many of the NPCs we've talked to. So maybe now that'll be good enough to make something good enough. So I'm assuming she has to be the party leader. It's possible she automatically fails, regardless of luck, because she just can't use the teleport orb. Let's just try going somewhere. Oh yeah, we got the red light. Just like in Wild Arms 1. Okay. Island Outpost. There we go. That was not that hard to fi figure out, I guess. Did you come from the outside? I mean, of course you did. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I've been researching Crest Sorcery here. Can you tell? Of course you can. This is my studio. For years of research. I just finished a summary of the lineage of high-level magic. Oh, wow. High-level magic is that missable? So if we just never use the teleport orb with her, we just never get it. Wow, that's kind of brutal. I love magic. What do you think? Surprised? Of course you are. Yeah, I'm surprised it isn't just in the overworld itself. 
Just having to come to this remote island from Selj region years ago has finally paid off. Chris sorcery and surpass all that has come before. You want to know, right? I just know how you feel. I love to teach it. I love to teach it to everyone. You understand that, don't you? Now there's a favor I need to ask of you. Hear me out, all right? You'll hear me out, right? When you deliver a book of high-level magic to the Karian in the Selj region... Okay. It must be able to impart the mysteries of high-level magic to guild members across the land. This is the magic book I wrote entitled High Crest. Please deliver it for me. High Crest acquired. Hmm. I forgot to tell you, my name is Day. John Day. Tell them I sent you. Alright, let's investigate his place for what we can loot. Nothing inside. Go higher up. There's an item somewhere, but I don't see it. Could be on the ground floor. What the? What? See how, the, see how the game's, like, detection acts very weird, depending on the camera angle? Like, look where we are here, and then, like, look what happens when I rotate the, the camera. It gets kind of confused where I'm supposed to be standing. Anyway, enough rotating. We definitely don't shift exactly centered. but I don't see it. Hmm. Nothing's lighting up. Oh, there's a chest over there. How do I reach that? Oh, can I go this way? I didn't think I was allowed. Oh, you could just barely walk around it. Okay. Sorry, I thought that was like a place I couldn't walk because it was a different terrain color. Well, kind of annoying, but I'll go for it. I gotta hug the fence real tight. Or not. Not this again. Ma oh, maybe I have to go the other way? I mean... Oh, this just seems kind of arbitrary which direction I need to go. Whatever. Weather vein acquired. I remember using this a little bit in Wild Arms 1. I don't think it has a, any different function, though. Yeah, because I, I do find the surprise fights kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Let's just get rid of that. So I guess we'll go hand in her quest. I guess that means I can name more spells, I guess. Oops. I'll diagonal there by accident. I just love us dropping into the abyss, though. So presumably, this should open up all the shops to learn new techniques once I hand this book over. Why, it's a high crest magic from Mr. Day. That's wonderful. Mr. Day really came through for us. Thank you for bringing it to me. We'll go and spread the word about these new crest spells. Good day to you. Damn it, he just teleports away. Wish we had teleport. Then we just have teleport orb. 
not quite the same. Now I guess we go back to quarterly? And I guess if there's anybody that would like to have a spell named after them and they don't already have a name in the game, you can go ahead and add it. Let's teleport back to quarterly. I got confused where it was in the list, I'm not gonna lie. Like, wait, it's not alphabetical. What do I do? I guess maybe we can name one after remote battery. Oh yeah, personal skill shop first. Um, skill attack up is good. Maybe there'll be a purpose to her? Question mark. Imagine what the name Battery will end up giving you a, a lightning spell of some sort. Let's... Let's erase most of these and just see what options we have. We've got to do some mass namings. We should be good. Or can I not do it because I don't have the other spells? Wait, how do I choose the... This match killed level 1. Did it not go through? Oh, that's an... Hold on. Maybe it didn't actually go through yet? That's kind of annoying. So maybe I have to now go back to the outpost to tell him that it's done and then talk to the other guy again? That seems kind of unnecessary for the shop upgrades. I'm not gonna lie. The other guy said he's off, so I would have assumed it would have upgraded. We'll go back to him and say, like, what's going on? Where's our upgrade? At minimum, this guy will probably teach us some abilities. Because I saw the magic shop had, like, level 1 shop, so I know it didn't upgrade. You deliver the high crest for me. You delivered it, right? I'm ready. Do you want to make high level magic? Of course you want to make it, right? Okay. We're gonna erase our other abilities. What can we make? High break, armor down, field saber. E resist? What the heck is that? Pipe weapon? What are these spell names, chat? Might body. I revive. Don't think that matters. Um, which one? High spark. Let's name this. They. Are. Battery. I'm gonna learn that. So we. I don't know what. Armor down. Armor down needs 70 points. What? Oh, that's. That's whack. <laughs> that was like one of the only abilities we used in Wild Arms 1. Are you serious? Chad, I don't even know if we're ever gonna get a chance to use this. Like, she's got to survive, like, either multiple hits or melee, like, five times just to use it once. I don't know about that, Chad. That doesn't seem worth it. Uh, I did have a list of people that were winning. I think Steve needed one at some point. This will make Steve red. Anybody else waiting for a named ability? Eve? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have like a cure status ailment one, which could be useful to learn actually. Hmm. 
Now the question is... I want to maybe name... I think we got one after... So the problem is I can't see the basic magics and the advanced magics, because I can figure out who I didn't name based off of that combination. I think we got most people last time. I know Steve was definitely one of them that didn't end up getting in the list. Let's go back to the region and see if this advances it. Sad. I love him bonking into the door as it opens. But he's back again. Tired of spread from spreading knowledge of high-level magic across Earth. But indefatigable Mr. Day has plunged into his next project. Ooh, that's a word. Indefatigable. Ooh. Can't lose face in front of him. Uh, so maybe he's going to learn another set of magic at some point? I'll check on him that later. I mean, sadly, we're doing all this, but we're probably not going to use that character ever again. Unless we're forced to. Hello is just so much more powerful at this point. And sadly, some of her AoEs are just as expensive as his, so I don't even have, like, incentive to do it. Or a spellcaster. Maybe one day she'll be useful. Maybe maybe when we hit level 50, she'll be useful. And hello will finally not be in such a level lead. I imagine at some point she'll be like the quote unquote boss slayer. So she has the ability to like armor down like endgame bosses. So we'll see those spells eventually, just the downside is... 50 FP is a long time to wait for an ability at this point in the game. We're not even at, like, level 30. Actually, now I can check between them. Yes, yeah, so we got Murphy, Granite Knight, Black Spidey, Guardian Angel, Calvisham, Er, Rob... We have one unused spell here. Hmm. Yeah, hello, hello. Hard carries everything. Hmm. Probably give her some basic abilities, so we're gonna give Chris, Dango, Meter, Rob, Murphy, I'll get a basic revive. These remaining crests. Let's see if we have any interesting spells on the level two. Yes, right now these are just too expensive to be worthwhile. Like I want to use them, but they're just not worth it. Slow down. Oh, reduces response. I thought that said resist for a second. as is, honestly. You got a good collection of things. So, I presume they want me to proceed to the other castle.
Oh, can I just go through the north end of town and end up on the other side? Hopefully I can. I won't say who, but I'm sure I saw one of your friends with that armed group that was here. And no, I'm not mistaken. I won't say who, but I'm pretty sure there's a traitor in your group. Wow, everybody's just looking out for us today, chat. The NPCs are just like all-knowing, all-powerful. Never doubt their intelligence network. I like he also said it when that same person's in our party, though. So they're like, kind of right. <laughs> they're like, hey, one of you four is a traitor. Good luck. They're like, wait, what? Hi, chat. Seems so obvious to give you a red herring. Yeah, I mean, the, the way I see it is if it does turn out to be him, it'll be literally just because the Saurus has a bomb on him, so he's forced to comply. So, like, if they're gonna go that route, that's what they're gonna do. Oh yeah, the shiny we found a long time ago. I can finally reach it. Oh, that's just for a Vitality Apple. It's a bit disappointing. Might as well just keep exploring. Okay, if there's not an item or a dungeon over here, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Seriously. Why even have this over here? Unless it's like, oh, we gotta escape through the caves to the north, and then it lets me through, or something stupid. Gonna put it past this game. I'll take this encounter. What the heck are you? Necrosaurus. I guess I should see if Turn Undead just instantly kills them. Find out, chat. I seem undeadish. I mean, he already insta kills with every spell, but I guess it's good to know that you have a cheap insta kill to try to get you to use them. That's nice of them, I guess. We're, se we're seemingly acquiring more money when I do the search now. It's like a, an amount that almost matters. Let's see a place I could land the hovercraft in the future. It is definitely a big shame we can't rename uh, Hello's abilities. I think that was just a straight up faster animation than Turn Undead, so I think we're not going to use Turn Undead because it's too slow. Yeah, like Hello's only at 38 FP, so even he has to get hit like three times to use his other abilities. It's not super ideal. this is gonna turn into later. It seems odd there's like a place that I can seemingly walk. I can't do anything with yet. over there in case I'm gonna go back there. I found another item. Ambrosia acquired. Okay. What's the point of this area? Is there gonna be like in between the stone pillars or something? 
I found like a couple items, but there's like much to interact with still. And it kind of reminds me of the summoning circle from Wild Arms 1. Okay, that one Gela is just insulting. Hmm. Yeah, that's a big oof. That's not even worth the time. I wish I could skip it. I didn't find anything in the pillars, which is where I thought they would be. Now, fortunately, we can't get ambushed, so I think at some point we might be able to skip all encounters with this. Right, so I'm not finding the castle right away. I love busy work chat, figuring out the magic spot where it's important. But it's possible the weather vane means I can skip all encounters that remain in the game. I mean, as you can see, like, we- I don't think we could get ambushed anymore due to the weather vane. Kind of OP. Notice how it's- it's- it's spamming it a lot, so I have to go slower. Five Gilla, absolutely not worth it. Where is this area? Where is the castle? Is it not over here? I thought it was. I have so many questions, chat. I'll just take this encounter so it stops prompting me. Uh, let's... Let's just burn them. Buy remnants. They kind of look like turkeys. I see their little skulls now. Now that it zooms in. Nice. Oh, why does it do that? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can change the cursor options. See, the problem is that it's not memorizing per character. It's memorizing what my last action was in general, which is not good. I don't want it to do that. Switching between melee and a spellcaster makes my menuing a horrible nightmare. Let's see if we can fix that. That really bothers me, actually. It didn't really come up that much before because I was just auto-attacking a lot, but now that I'm using this character, that really bothers me. Yeah, I would have thought remember would mean that it remembers the last thing I did, but it didn't. I'm gonna flip both of these. Somewhere in an encounter, I'll compare. Where the heck is this castle? So it's not in here. Is it like to the extreme north? Like, what else have I not explored at this point? Oh my gosh, chat. Like, come on. <laughs> Cut me a break on this one. This is where it's located of all the other places it could be. And then we even, we were like right here too, by the way, chat. Like, I did this and missed it because I know I went around the edge here earlier. So annoying. I understand Irene not being able to see the castle, damn. I don't know, it's just one of those things. I just I just don't like that as a feature. I hope this does not return in Wild Arms 3. Pretty sure I could do anything and kill him. Yeah. As I said before, I don't mind searching for treasure, but like, location should not be there. I'm sorry, just... It doesn't work for me. I don't like it. 
just adds like a lot of unneeded padding to the game. Go to Slayheim, I suppose. Guess Irene isn't here yet. Guess all hasn't been engulfed by the Sea of Salt yet. Take a look around while we're waiting. Uh, so we're given a choice of left or right. I mean, I'm gonna go left first, as per our usual. I'll go left again. this. Do I just kick it? Okay. Puzzling. We have elven boots. on one third probability. I don't know if I care about that, to be honest. We're, we're so powerful, it doesn't really matter. So we'll acknowledge there's an area I haven't been to. Switch on a wall, do you want to press it? Sure. We're making progress. Found the save crystal already? Huh. Okay. Maybe I have to go to the other side and do the same thing. backwards. Might as well as explore. But I think I unintentionally made progress. I was just looking for treasure. Let's take that encounter. Uh-oh, somebody tried posting a link. By undead thing that will probably die to us instantly. Oh, you're actually completely immune. Hmm. A challenge, finally. I guess. I, fine, I'll use turn undead. Are you happy, game? Wait, that drops lucky card? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait. I just have to kill that and I get lucky cards? That seems kind of unfair. Uh, well, I guess I'm not skipping encounters in this area. <laughs> Purple 2 was the star of destiny. Blue Donna telling the hard truth here. Just searching the room. Nothing here. Where's the missing book, though? A little suspicious. The gap where a book was. You see a book entitled Story of a Superpower. Do you want to read it? Sure. The desert ruins south of Slayheim have yielded many relics and are of great scholarly interest worldwide. These relics include several super weapons created with lost technology. These super weapons accelerated Slayheim's transformation into a military superpower. Though never used against another nation, the super weapons were a more than adequate threat. Newly acquired strength often leads to leads a person astray. The same applies to nations as well. It was the excessive strength it acquired that led the nation of Slayheim down the road to ruin. Why is this in the Slayheim castle? See a book entitled A Well-Organized Liberation Army. What began as scattered pockets of resistance gradually grew into a nationwide liberation movement. The movement's momentum took the government forces by surprise. Again, why is this in the Slayheim castle? Who's writing this and putting it in their library? 
Amazingly, this huge movement was piloted by only two men, a leader and a hero. Together, they led a liberation army whose military might was formidable. The two sides were evenly matched. Only the goddess of victory could have foreseen the outcome. The book entitled Treaty of Iscariot. You want to read it? Sure. As Slayheim's military might grew, the other nations felt threatened. Distressed at this turn of events, nobleman in Slayheim, Sir Iscariot, proposed a treaty. Notice the Treaty of Iscariot. This agreement restricted the use of super weapons. In Sir Iscariot's territory, the treaty was ratified and made permanent. By restraining the use of weapons that threaten world peace, the Arms Reduction Treaty sought to curb the arms race and preserve world peace above all else. Hmm. Can I kick any- Oh, there we go. Now I can get the book. Adult Mag Acquired? Oh no. Does it have a description? Don't look, kids. Does this actually have good stats? Oh, I can't equip it. Fine, I'll put it in the obviously missing slot. Secret sign acquired. Oh, hey, that's what I wanted. I wanted more. Oh, oh, chat. Oh, <laughs> look at that stat difference. Oh, no, chat. Is he just like immortal to magic now? Like, chat, just to put it on scale, Vicky as the mage has 78 magic resistance. He is 228. I don't think he could take spell damage anymore, chat. I think I'm willing to state that. Just, just I just don't think he can. A book entitled Angel Halo. Sure, we'll read it. The Angel Halo is an angel weapon unearthed during the desert excavation mentioned above. This was the most powerful type of ancient weapon. Its blast would lay waste to all of Slayheim, turning it into lifeless salt flat. King of Slayheim is prepared to use the Angel Halo if cornered militarily. All who live in Slayheim should pray the Angel Halo is never used. Whether it whether it is depends on how the war with the Liberation Army goes. It's kind of funny that there's lore books in the secret area. Angel Halo was an angel weapon that resembles a halo. I mean, we're getting those kinds of descriptions. Sadly. Let's see what happens if we go through from the other side. What would we have seen? Oh, so there's a passageway through here as well, but I can't go back through there yet. This will probably just be a mirror image of the other place, so if I go up here, it should be a dead end, right? People die when they are killed? Exactly. Uh-huh. Picture is crooked. Behind the picture is the switch connected to it. Will you straighten the picture? Yes. That was, like, the world's easiest puzzle. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, oh. Okay. Well, hold on, I hit plot? Oh, it better just be a flashback. Hey, you can't collapse now. Not after coming this far. I know, I know, we can't afford to stop. I can't afford to lose. Captain, the royal family seems to be hiding in the cellar. Request instructions, sir. I was not expecting automatic dialogue. We can't blow this chance. If we stop here, we'll suffer an irrecoverable setback. Was that just to receive a duplicator? Why did we get a flashback here? Okay. <laughs> okay. So another optional cutscene for uh, straightening the painting, I guess. I guess we'll go back the other side and open the other door. It's possible I have to do this to advance. Maybe the northern door requires both the west and east wings to be opened. There should be a switch around here. What the heck is all this? That, yeah, it's gonna let me cut across. We can't... Can I push this? Can I kick this? No. 
what do you want me to do in this room? Interesting. Can I blow it up? So I can hit the differently colored floor there. That's fair. I did not mean to fall there. That's fair. I'm just like trying to puzzle out like what it would it be to do there. I'm like, I can't climb over it. We don't have jumps. Can't kick it. That is a lot of enemies. Alter Skelter. Well, I'm gonna go burn them. I love that we're doing, like, literally triple damage <laughs> compared to the other characters. Holy. That one's more like two and a half times, but ridiculous. I do like that we did just get a random lucky card. Okay, so we should be coming up to the switch room soon. This should open- both passageways should now lead here. So presumably the north door should be openable now. Although I could have checked earlier to see if that was necessary. We did get a duplicator though, so... I, I can't say it, it was a waste of time. ammo most of the squad is surrounded. We must win, no matter what happens. We're gonna turn things around now. Again, they, he keeps getting me when I'm like trying to take a drink between the, the loading scenes. It's very rude. <laughs> I'd like to rehydrate. All that for a red chest. Now the door is open. I'm assuming because I hit the other switch that now opened. Lone Wolf Acquired. Why is that the name of a hat, though? Right, Chad? Like, what? Ah, oh, yes, the Lone Wolf hat. Wait, why not? Wait, what? I, I can't go through there? Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I don't know about you, Chad. That that seemed like I should have been able to walk into that. I'm assuming it's just a fireplace and not a doorway. So maybe the door it opened was at the very beginning for some reason. Oh, I should have gone the other way because it has less these things to deal with. What a weird, what a weird castle, Chad. It makes me really question the people that lived here on a daily basis. Like, oh yes, you just hit the two switches on the other side, and you're allowed to proceed further. Of course! There's a switch I can't reach. I imagine this is gonna be, like, Deception... Deception 2 territory. Can I just kick these? Yeah, there we go. See that chat? We're building our trap combo here. We used push wall in order to hit the switch. No time to celebrate. What is it? That loser fugitive must have lost his mind. I don't even know who's talking. King is Slayhide. He activated the triggering device on the Angel Halo. Good lord, that's an angel weapon. They were permanently banned under the Treaty of Iscariot. There must be a code to deactivate the bomb. The king must know. Eat him out of it if you have to. Believe me, I'd like to, but it's too late. The idiot blew his own brains out. Wait, what? That son of a... I'll turn that sucker off. Don't be an idiot. We can't afford to lose you. I don't plan on dying. Besides, you still have something that's mine. As we get punched. 
Take care of Vincefelt for me. <laughs> that That is a lot of plot. So if I had to deconstruct what's happening, the mental damage and injuries are from trying to deal with the weapon from the guy that was in the wheelchair earlier, a.k.a. Fido. Fido, that was our last mission together. Major Halo detonated. I thought I'd never see him again, but he made it back alive. I have to stay alive so that when the war is over, he give him back what I'm holding for him. A span acquire? I mean, I'm only using the character... But how is this another... How is this another dead end? Wait, where, where does it want me to go? Wait a minute. I have so many questions. I'm assuming at some point we're gonna find Kanan, who we haven't seen yet, who may or may not betray us because she knows our name, but we didn't really get any information about this from the other person. Amy says, hey, did you know that they say that Slayhound is haunted? I wonder if it's true. So it could be like an Exodessa member or somebody that just really hates our current party members. Uh, so I want to use... Fire on you, melee you, and maybe we'll get the item. Yeah, Hello is basically a tanky beast. Even when he guesses the wrong element, he still insta-kills. If we get another lucky card here, that's fine. Since we have more for the end of the game, we're already at 7, which is a pretty good amount, honestly. Because now we know not to use them on bosses from Wild Arms 1. But we could save them for some very big power leveling later. Unfortunately, did not get it that time. Voice echoing through the castle says, You are like the castle's ghost. I'm assuming this is Kanan trying to kill us. You both possess a life that is not of this world. I will send you to where you belong. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Irene. You do not belong in this world. Oh, that, that was very Castlevania of her. It's you. You're the Merc. Are you an assassin for Odessa? I don't work for anyone. I only follow my own destiny. Besides, Odessa could never tie me down. I don't have anything personal against you, but I must slay the monster that lurks within you. I do not tell you to surrender. I simply say accept. What? That was a sentence. Well, chat, I think she's about to get super dunked on. It is my destiny to hunt down and kill monsters and ghosts. I will cut down anyone who tries to stop me. Oh, she does use daggers. Oh, uh, I spy would have worked better. Damn. I've sworn an oath to myself. I thought she was going to be more swords person versus thief or whatever. Um, I guess I could zap her because it's funny. Um, yeah, let's just go all out on her. How much damage this does? A lot. Left edge. How much damage did she do? Like 1,000? 2,000? 1,000. That's fine. I might not even need to heal before she dies. I'll be real with you. Oh, I think we... Did we whiff? Oh no, we still hit. <laughs> She's getting absolutely destroyed. Holy... Uh. Oh, that's what that does. Oh, I don't like that. We're going to change one of the options later. Now I understand what it means by fixed versus neutral on the command options. That puts it back to Wild Arms 1 style, which I don't care about. I mean, if she spreads the damage, I don't even need to heal here at all. I might just die here if I don't miss. Wow. 
Ashley hit level 24. That's embarrassing for her. Damn, I was careless. But this isn't over yet. I will fulfill my oath to myself. Damn. Imagine fighting a boss battle and not even healing. That's pretty, that's pretty embarrassing. My oath to kill all monsters. I will hunt you down no matter where you run to. Till then, stay healthy. Do not rob me of my pleasure. And the use of the word pleasure. By the way, Vince felt that the hero he knew five years ago was left-handed. What? Watch your back from now on. You're my prey, and I won't let anyone else take you. Hmm. I, I, I'm gonna haul on that one as well. What a, what a bizarre thing to say. I mean... I think it's implying that we're an imposter, which I think we already kind of knew. Hmm. So, I mean, I'm imagining that this is... Billy, who we named Fido. I'm assuming that's what it's trying to set up very awkwardly in the translation. Yeah, not not exactly smooth there. Now what do we do? <laughs> we we just kind of took a big detour for no reason and we just left. Right? I mean, like, we went here, we kind of didn't follow the villain anywhere, we just decided to go here for some reason. <laughs> like, from a plot standpoint, they're like, Damn, they're getting away with the data device. Now, let's go to this haunted castle and kill monsters for some reason. Like, there wasn't really a through line <laughs> why we did this over the other mission. But we'll go back to Quarterly, I guess. It's me. Come in, Valeria Chateau. Do you read me? And that's that. Since you're near Quarterly, I want you to check something there. Despite the signal jamming, we detected unusual energy waveform from the desert. It could be an Odessa facility, or even a main base. Do you have the exact location? From here, it's a miracle we even picked up the signal. The only way to pinpoint the location is for you to comb the desert. I'm reminded of space balls with a giant comb. Okay, so they're telling me I can now go to the thing where the screen gets darker? But did I heal? I did not. Oh, hello's gonna level soon? Oh, that's called a, a welcome surprise. I mean, I guess I'll just keep going. But yeah, she got dunked on chat. That was kind of embarrassing for her, honestly. My healing for now. I'll probably just heal in some random combat. As long as it's not the insta-kill monsters, we should be fine. Oops. <sighs> Went out the wrong exit. What did the settings change in the combat menu? So... Reminder to go fix that. So from the battle command, I think I want it to be fixed. So if it does what I think it does, when we're in that menu and we have the option to hit up, down, left, right, or neutral in order to select another command, on the one that I had it before, if I let go of the D-pad, it was putting it back in the middle. So if I hit up and X, but I let go of up, it would go to auto attack. So I think this should revert that. 
Because that's how Wild Arms 1 did it, and I did not like that system of menu at all. Let's get into a combat here and double check. Yeah, so see how I'm, I'm not touching anything? Yeah, so that way it doesn't feel like I'm fighting the controls. Oh, but then- oh, but that's where that was happening before. Oh, come on. <laughs> so my choice is play Wild Arms 1 or it's gonna rip- oh. I'm disappointed. Then what's the point of the cursor then? Maybe it just means when I'm selecting stuff in the menu. Also, I don't know why the cats are on their front paws. It's just a thing that we're experiencing. So I have to choose whether or not it remembers- oh, that's so bad. I don't know why they chose to do this, because I don't feel like this is like a really out outlandish complaint. Like, since basically Final Fantasy VI, it has been a thing, and honestly even before then it was a thing, to make sure that you could remember the last input that your character did. It feels kind of weird to be like a moderately, in like decently... Uh, developed game in the mid to late PS1 era and did not have that for an RPG. Feels really weird. Uh, I'll put this back on Remember then. I guess I'll leave it on Neutral. It's not my preference, but I really don't want to have to keep menuing it repeatedly. I imagine the facility should be around here somewhere. That was close. Alchemic okay, plant discovered. We've just received report that Arms has infiltrated our plant. So, they finally come. And to Nor, I'm leaving the plant's defenses to you. This position here... Hmm, yes. I'll be joining Plato Platomia and heading for Heimdall Gazan. Place is in your hands. Yes, sir. Do you hate me? What? What? Why all of a sudden? You think I don't know? Welcome, Sarah. Just woke in a few minutes ago. Wanted to sleep in. Coffee down for me. Just wanted to say hello. Enjoy your coffee. She dot dot dots. I don't know what they're talking about. I can't have your heart. I have no desire for this world. You think I'm your enemy? Kill me here and now. Hmm. Vinsfeld, sir. Please hurry, Vinsfeld, sir. Right now we're being ambushed by the arms. Is she supposed to be cry- This translation chat, is she supposed to be crying? She's doing OOUs. Is it like, ooh, ooh, ooh? I know, I know why exactly, Budana. You could just say she cries, like... Okay. <laughs> right, chat? Just question mark. Oh, oh, you just immediately put me in an encounter. Cute. That is cute. I guess we'll try lightning on these enemies. They're normal attacks for the rest. I guess I could also put press caps on. Maybe I should. Oh, so they're resistant to lightning, of course. 
I saw Robot, thought Lightning, but whatever. Still good enough to one-shot. I guess since I haven't been using Mage Weapon, is it worth putting a Super Spell in the other thing? Oh, we're locked in. This way I don't have to return to blow up the plant. Okay. I mean, I should get into some fights here, but I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of things I have to dodge. Oh, so that is just straight up a gap. Okay. A weird place we're in. Okay. Is there a reason they designed their plant like this? That's all I'm thinking about, Chad. I'm like, who, 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 what, why would they do this? Well, if they're not, let's see how they handle lightning damage, maybe. Or wind damage, I mean, versus lightning. Oh, doesn't really matter. Governor off? What? Makes their response, defense, attack, magic resistance, and parry rate increase. I too, Governor off. Anyway, he dies instantly. Low is now hit level 39, chat, like a beast. so annoying here. So I can go left, or I can go forward. Oh, that's, that's just a dead end. Unless I have to chuck something there, and that's B. Kind of annoying. Well, I have a feeling we're going to be coming back through here a couple times, chat. Over there is a dead end. There's a doorway if I go this way. What about over here? Okay. The world's most necessary power plant path. I too work right next to the abyss. Uh, use rock bolt, see if that does any different damage. So he's gone out about another 100 HP. They're finally starting to catch up to him in terms of HP. no interesting items. Okay. I swear if I fall off chat. Okay, there we go. We've made it here. We could go left or forward. Left seems to be going up a set of stairs. Sure. Now I'm on the other side. Or did I just accidentally exit the plan? I'm gonna be sad if that was just a big move. Okay, so we're in a new area. I don't think that's avoidable. Oh boy, Chad. We have no random encounters, but we have a series of mazes. That if I ever mess up, I'm gonna have to redo. And it looks like they got... Some of them aren't too bad, but there's a lot of paths we could be taking. And given that I'm flipping the camera repeatedly, I don't really have a good sense of where I actually came from. That's why I don't like games that make you rotate the camera without having some, like... Radar or something to get my bearings. We're 
at least advancing the plot here. Wow, this seems a bit much. We can confuse the enemy by using the machine. The mission will become a lot easier. This looks like a job for me. Take care of this. You guys need to go on to the deepest depths. After I finish here, I'll follow. We'll operate independently for a time. Asaurus? I understand. And we'll meet up at the deepest depths. Okay, let's go. Oh. You're just straight up removing him from my party? Well, that's kind of a shame. Well, I guess Vicky too gets to see the sunlight, Chad. And I could give her Mystic Word, technically. I kind of wasn't buying stuff for her, because I had a feeling we wouldn't be using her for a while. Oh well. We leave the Saurus all by himself. I'd have faith in my friends, but... Okay. What the heck is that? Oh. Oh, do they get any calls in here? Buzz hiss. It's no use. You can't be. Oh, it's no use. Can make contact without with the outside. But can I like destroy these at all? No. I mean, we take like pitiful damage, so it doesn't really matter if I take trap damage. Cool. Someone's in there. Can't be found. Can't be found, so I won't open the door. Hmm, they're transmitting. I'm sure how I can intercept the message. Oh, go on the call then. Better operator A says, Sir, the guard robot is ready. This one is a bad radiator. Sharp temperature could cause the robot to shut down. When the new radiator comes, all we can do is improvise. Understood. You string and gum if you have to, soldier. Alright, so it's telling me fire rod is their weakness. Okay. Or maybe it's fire into ice, because it just say sharp temperature difference. I guess Vicky will use the Chris spell on the enemy and hopefully it kills, question mark. Water gun. Well, I'm glad we put some spells back on her. That would have been really awkward. Hmm. Oh, it's still enough to kill. I love how she does half his damage, by the way, Chad. <laughs> just want to point that out. Literally half. That's painful. Okay. It moved exactly where I was walking. That really sucks. Could have done any other direction and we would have been fine. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't think it really matters what I use at this point. Sure, we'll use a parameter. Goodbye, the enemy. Yeah, I might, rec I might regret not getting the recover move from the high spell list. We'll see. So, so far, no items. So these encounters are just kind of bad. Oh, just let me get close. Come on. Seriously? Someone inside. Must be saying something. Let's do the call now. I think I left my code book in a locker somewhere. Have you seen it? Sorry, haven't seen it. That thing's top secret. You'll catch hell for losing it. I better find it right away. But where could I have left it? Okay.
Warden Top Secret Cookbook, it says there's a memo here. Do you want to read it? Sure. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. Are you really going to make me do ciphers? Really? Oh, Chad, I don't like doing ciphers. <sighs> I mean, I'll take a screenshot. This is going to be way more annoying than this should be. So... I, okay, how many how many letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's a lot of letters. Yeah. But interestingly, this is... This is more letters than the actual alphabet, so I'm thinking... What are they going to tell me later? I imagine it'll be like they'll tell me a letter and I read down the columns for it. Like, if they give me S, I know it'll be like SJV. Because it's not a one-to-one. -one. I was wondering if it was going to be like, here are the letters of the alphabet, and then you just kind of compare the two. I like that Zam is number one, though. Wild arm puzzles, push the block, push block two spaces, translate an entire language. I mean, you're not wrong. I think Ralph was complaining a little earlier about the easiness of the puzzles. We were just literally at the beginning of the game. Now they're starting to get kind of heinous. Well, I guess we'll figure out what that means at some point, unfortunately. Enter a password. Password is none. So, oh, come on. There we go. Will they reach the moon lot? Oh, the first, oh, the first game's puzzles was the end of the game. Holy, they're on like a whole nother planet and they're coming up with those. Oh. I don't want to get an encounters here. So we have all those. So I took a photo. I mean, just imagine playing this game, like, if you were playing, like, back in the era it came out in, and there's, like, no online guide, and they honestly want you to write down every single one of those letters to do a puzzle, or if you, or you have to walk all the way back there and then retranslate it each time. I'm gonna say no thank you on that one. probably going to be hint as to what to do. Alright, so what's the other half of the password? Man, it's time to change the password. We're using QOW now, right? No, sir. That, that was the last one. We're using OM now. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, I'll change the password according to the codebook. Yes, sir. I mean... Okay, so they said QOW was the previous one. So... They're reading right to left, so if QOW was first, and OM, um, which we already talked about, was roughly in the middle, the next password should be ISK. Um. That was so rude. <laughs> that was so rude. I like transition into the room and it's like, no, thou shalt not escape. Take this encounter. I'll just melee. I don't think it really matters what I do here for damage.
Yeah, these encounters don't even seem to be giving us items, so they're pretty bad. XP-wise, I'm not impressed. Money-wise, we've literally gotten better in earlier areas. Oof. I need 25,000 to level again. I'll just drop down. Password is confirmed. The door has been unlocked. Hmm. Now we're at a save room, so we're probably halfway through the dungeon now. I will say, at least they're putting save points roughly where they should be. Even if I'm not a fan of the overall dungeon design in this game. Partially due to camera. Go left first. Doorway here. Somebody I can listen to. I have a status report, sir. Raiding arms troops have destroyed several guard and patrol bots. I see. Those arms guys have been lucky. But we can't let them get any further in into the interior. Tighten our defenses. Yes, ma'am. Seemingly didn't do anything for us. Seriously? I hate RNG movement chat. Please get away from the door. Thank you. I'm gonna walk. I was gonna say to hopefully avoid encounters. But I can't help if they're literally reversing as I'm passing them. And we can't run from battle, so we have to do this every time. Unfortunate. I could speed up the enemy text here. Every time we fight that, that's like eight seconds. I'm not getting back every fight. The XP is bad. The item's non existent. The money is not good. I'd really prefer not to get into any more of those encounters, even if it means walking slower. Because that spell ability is just so slow. The problem is that they're just so erratic. Try to run where, when we can. Uh, speaking of erratic, go this way. Okay. Wait a minute, sir. Aren't you done yet? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, just let me buy. That didn't seemingly do anything. All oh, on this one. That equipment check done. Yes, sir, almost finished. Is that the room we just came from? Just a few more things. Mop recorder, flashlight, one each, sir. Recorder. All right, then. Hold on a second while I start recording. Okay. So just go back and forth between these rooms until the plot advances. So, recorder sounds interesting. The mop doesn't. All right, good work, son. Now you're to help me track down the arms intruders. Yes, sir. Consider me part of the search team now. I am really surprised I did not initiate an encounter by accident. Oh my gosh. What is the what is going on? I feel like I'm being stop it. I feel like I'm being juked. We go okay, we could go in here now. Check the lockers out. Nothing valuable. Nothing valuable. Valuable. Soldier left behind something. Search the locker again. Ah. Oh. I always wanted something like this. Recorder acquired. 
nothing valuable, nothing valuable. So, do I just go back to where we heard Nora talking to the other person? Is that what it wants me to do? And somehow she'll say something that I can use to manipulate the guards? I'm trying to think through what the game wants me to do. Oh, this is heinous. Here we go. And again, those couple seconds are like nothing compared to the time loss of taking one of those encounters. No, thank you. We don't need XP. I don't really want their money. Thank you for the good luck. Hopefully you're doing well, Scott Child. Let's try calling this time. What has arms done since then? All we know is this, man. Several patrol bots have been destroyed, but there's still no trace of arms. Now get this straight, soldier. You and every other troop in this planet is an Alito Dessa fighter. There are no lame excuses. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. We'll find those arms chumps and hang them by their petards. <laughs> the petards? <laughs> okay. Can I translate that? Can I record it? Do I just call again? Hmm. made this sound effect like something was being done, so I'm assuming maybe there's like a voice lock door or something, then if it doesn't... Oh my gosh, game, please stop, stop! <laughs> what is with this erratic movement? Please stop, like, just arbitrarily stopping and moving in diagonals. I can't get by it when it does that. Yeah, this is our first playthrough. We just completed Wild Arms 1 not that long ago. The translation in this game is definitely a lot worse than the first game, unfortunately. We have a very overpowered mage character who is literally dunking on everybody. Sadly, we're about- oh, he didn't do Governor off! Okay, we didn't lose that much time then. That's the attack that I worry about. So, we are in the middle of a plan. We haven't found what our destination is yet here. There's a ton of security robots everywhere. So we're just trying to figure out where to go. So far, it's been a very weird maze-like area. Oh, I don't like that red robot. Oh, it dodged us. Nice. We went there, we got the recorder. It made a sound effect when I used the recorder earlier. Guess I can listen in on the call. Nope. Nothing new there, unfortunately. Dodging those encounters. Get trolled right near the door. Oh, we got through at least. So we did all that just to end up at the save point? Okay. So I guess it was just a really big U-shaped hallway. We went back and forth a couple times, so I lost track of when we turned. Let's see, now that we have the recorder... Voice print verification lock is, is set. Lock up ahead, access to authorized personnel only, start voice print verification. Oh, um, uh, it is I! Oh, hee hee hee! Oh, don't embarrass me! Voice print verification complete. The voice print is not registered with the pertinent patterns. A block up ahead. Use of the block is limited to rank A members in the special cocktail score. Okay, so maybe I did it out of order? Okay. Did I actually record anything when I used this earlier?
voice friend. Then they want to impersonate someone. Oh, so we had to be told to do that. That's a kind of unfortunate. So I had the right idea, but we didn't talk to the door first. Now we have to go back to that other door where they were having a longer conversation with somebody. Wait, what was over here? I got baited. <laughs> okay, so right idea, but we didn't hit a plot flag. That's fair. Uh, we'll do Rob Attack, why not? Oh yeah, we can name a spell after God's Child. For some reason, we have the ability to rename all of the spells in the game. We'll have to do that next time. Let me make a note. It's a neat feature. Unfortunately, we have a very, very overpowered character in our party, so they get kind of... They overshadow basically everybody. Pretty boring, considering the excursion by arms. I know it's way too mellow. Do arms really attack? Don't sweat it. Let the patrol bots take care of them. That's just optional there. Whoops. <laughs> Come on. Okay, now this is wasting a lot of time. Could you could you not guard me? Thank you. Stupid guard bots doing their duty. <laughs> Out of here. Ah, I record that voice here. Can I now use the recorder? The recorder from before, I could get Antonora's voice. Oh, that's not fair. Chat, that's not fair. You saw me do this earlier. With that, I'll be able to easily pass the voice print test. We already read through this conversation. Ah, I scored. With this, I'll pass the voice verifier. Yeah, let's go back the way we came. Yeah, I like the ability to dodge encounters either through like dungeon gimmicks like this one or being able to do any action to potentially avoid bad encounters. I hope that remains a staple in the later Wild Arms. I'm hoping they kind of tweak the force point system though. Because right now it's like if one character gets really far ahead, there's pretty much no reason to use other characters. So like, for example, if we check our stats out, this character is level 39 to everybody's 24. So we've unlocked all of his abilities, so he just kind of stomps everything out of existence. At least versus bosses, having ammo seems somewhat useful. I just don't think our other mage does anything, sadly. Okay, let's use the voice recorder here. Doors equipped with a block ahead, access to per personnel only. Okay, so we recorded her voice. Voice print verification complete. The voice print verified is Antora Coctus. The block will now be released. I think my voice is way cuter, but oh well, Machine couldn't be able to tell that. Okay, so what are we gonna fight? Yeah, I think there's just certain characters that are just way stronger in general. So, it's it's a bit unfortunate. I hope they rebalance some of the spells a bit better. Like, she has a lot of single target stuff, but all of it is still weaker than the other mage who we have to our right there. Also, we can rename all the characters for some reason. <laughs> Though we have very ridiculous names for some of the characters. Let's continue with the plot. We're almost to the energy reactor. How ominous dead end up ahead. Let's try elsewhere. Oh, Antonora, you're about to be deleted by this party. Antonora! You... You plan on bringing Vincefeld down? If so, what of it? We're gonna put a stop to your schemes. Impossible. That's not possible for you. I'm kind of redundant there. Chris is saying ridiculous, what are you talking about? Hello, Thesaurus are perfectly normal names, have to know three people named Thesaurus. 
Because I'm going to stop you. She's gonna try to stop us. I mean, maybe she'll kill Vicky, but... I don't think this boss is gonna be able to do much of anything. I'm not gonna let you all take him down. Yeah, you know, one thing I like about this God's Child is that for monster enemies that are bosses, you could take out different enemy parts to get more XP and items, and it also slowly reduces their ability to do attacks. So you kind of you can kind of do a risk reward thing with how you target them. Unfortunately, human enemies are just very standard, so they're they're gonna get nuked. Things that are impossible are not possible in the northwest is northwest of us, basically. I'm not gonna let you all take him down. I don't want to witness that. Let this thread make you dance. Dance the dance of death. It suits you all so well. Alright, Chad. How many attacks do you think she's gonna survive from this team? Uh... Who do I think she'd be weak against? Try Dango. So we're using water. Let's try Earth to start ruling out some elements and see how much damage she takes. <laughs> she just gets rocked in the face. 1500, fantastic damage. Let's see if she has any weaknesses. We're fishing for spell weakness at this point. 700, not a weakness. Ephemeron. Okay. Oh, Bashley's actually pretty injured. He might die from that. Okay, he didn't die there. I'll take a turn just to heal us, even though it'll slow combat down. But she should be taking big damage here. Oh, he whiffed. What a failure. Uh, I guess I could do... Full action for damage. Probably should have been doing that for damage. Um... We'll try to do... Let's see, we did Ice, Earth... Let's try Lightning. And let's just show you how powerful our heal magic is right now with this character. What a fair ability we're about to use. Yeah, that's fair. Anyway, she has no chance of killing us, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, does she have Lightning Weakness? She does not. She's using Shockwave on us, though. <laughs> Balanced? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not gonna bother healing on this. This should do big damage. <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah, that makes up for it. So our dead or alive is okay. Let's use this combine attack. Let's use... Let's see. We ruled out lightning, fire, ice. Or I don't think we've ruled out fire, actually. We'll try fire, and then we'll do... Wind? I guess we haven't tried wind. Let's see if we had a weakness here. So it's possible Bashley might kill her here, depending on what uh, guardian thing he has. But she cannot be long for this world. She's taking insane damage from this team. Like, she might even die here, honestly. Okay, so she's using a single target ability on Bashley, but he should survive, because I healed him earlier. I did poison him. Let's see, chat. We have Vapor Blast. Here comes the summon. So this is for targeting Bashley. I'm pretty sure this boss is about to be destroyed. There we go. How much did it do? Not that much, actually. But she did die. Got the XP. Is that all you can do? Don't disappoint me. With your current powers, it's impossible for you to destroy him. Really? I felt like that was pretty convincing. I basically only had to heal Bashley. That's only because I didn't enter at full health. Sorry, but your organization has an intelligence leak. Impossible. Are you sure? I wonder. What's it like to have someone you trust turn on you? After all, your bonds are only so strong. It's a... Doppelganger. An amusing little sideshow, don't you say? 
This formless monster steals not only one's shape, but one's memories and skills, too. The intelligence was gathered by a doppelganger in the form of Thesaurus. The doppelganger I sent in has stirred up more distrust than we had ever hoped. It's a... I guess I wasn't really guessing clones. I guess that's to explain what happened earlier. How could this happen? What are you doing? It's not over yet. Thesaurus! And over the Eat My Dust. I still can't believe it's called that. That feels like a chat-generated name. I cannot believe that is actually the name of the, of the thing he's looking for. Now... What's the matter? He might be a fake as well. You said our ties were only so strong. Yeah, somehow that was not the team. Well, you may be right. No, you are right. I miss- I once mistrusted a friend. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I almost forgot to. I once mistrusted a friend, also welcome, Dango. I couldn't completely trust someone I fought alongside of. That's why this time I'm putting my trust in my friends. So I don't submit to you, and to strengthen my friendships. Thesaurus. <laughs> wow. There you go, chat. There's the eat my dust. Just nuke the room. No need to go all out. Oh, thesaurus. Retreat. We failed our mission. Retreat and regroup. No, I won't go now. I'm going to finish the mission. How? Eat my dust has been used. How are you going to blow up the plant? Dot dot dots. There's a bomb right here. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, this is going hardcore. So I guess to fill in God's child or people that don't remember from last time. So we're basically under the ownership of arms. We are the arms team. But to get the prisoner to go with us, he has a bomb in his head. But now he's saying that he's going to blow himself up with the bomb in his head in order to go deal with this plant. That escalated quickly. Don't be ridiculous. It, uh, the Gias won't come off so easily. There's no time. Not smart like eat my dust. The bomb can't be neutralized later on. Before I blow up the plant, you guys need to get out of here. What are you going to do? I'm going to fulfill my destiny as a hero. Promise to return. We're heroes because we always return from danger. Evacuate immediately. Don't look back. Just look forward and get out of here now. What are you saying? Do you mean the Saurus here? Believe. We'll meet again. Promise. I promise. I don't know how he's going to remove that bomb and survive, but sure. I think it might technically be on his headband, but it said it would go off as soon as anybody tried removing it, so... It's effectively on his head, or slash in his head, depending on how they did it to him. Here I go. Going off to one's death is what heroes do, I guess. Right now, at this moment... I understand how he felt. <laughs> the he we renamed Fido, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't look like I'll be able to keep my promise, but I think I'll be forgiven. There we go, Chad. I'm off to fulfill my destiny as a hero. Well, I think this might be a while before we see another Thesaurus. Thesaurus! Oh yeah, was Villain a bad guy? Oh, we haven't found out yet. We're we're just assuming the character we named Villain is evil. <laughs> we we have yet to see if that name change has paid off. There's no way he's not, Chad. I refuse to believe he's a good character. I mean he put a bomb on somebody. There's no way this character's good. 
He detected that explosion from the Valeria Chateau too, says Villain. Based on the pattern, we think it was Gius. It was definitely Gius. The bomb implanted in Thesara Seven's neck. Oh, okay, it was on his neck, my bad. Is it at all possible? Is it at all possible he survived? Powerful bomb around his neck has exploded. We cannot imagine anyone surviving such a thing. Sorry, Thesaurus. There was a time when I doubted you, but not anymore. I have a new mission for you. At a time like this? Destroy Odessa utterly without wasting one breath. Return peace to the world. That is the only true way to mourn Thesaurus. Yes, yes, that's what we will do. That will make it better, won't it? Hello, you shouldn't mope around forever, e forever either. Cheer up! Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Your next mission is to guard someone very important. Guard the Guild Galad's master son and take him back to his country. You may be attacked by Odessa. The request for protection came from the Guild Galad master. It is unbelievable, as he thinks ARMS is his own personal escort service. I knew I had a reason for disliking him. Use the long-distance subway for this mission. I I'm sorry, the what? The station is located north of Quarterly at the mountain's foot. Eat with them there. Oh, that one location I said I'm mad something's not there. Okay. Can't be crying all the time. The Saurus will laugh. Time for action now. There you go, chat. I guess we'll go speak to him again and see if he says anything new. Uratu Station is north of the Uratu Mountains, north of Quarterly. Or excuse me, is near the Uratu Mountains, excuse me. We are protecting the son of the Guild Galad Master, so make no mistakes. Okay, we got healed. That That's what I was looking for, chat. We got healed. Otherwise, I'd have to go back. So this is kind of awkward. We have one melee character and then two magic users. But Vicky 2 is so weak that she can't kill things unless she hits enemy weakness. Also, where are we in this building? Larry Chateau could go anywhere in Filgaia, but you can't use the search system and only a few landing pads exist in all Filgaia. Hovercraft is better for conducting thorough searches. Why, thank you, random person. Line Law 9, so if you're going on a long trip, now's the time to stock up. Oh, so we have a merchant. Huh. So we could just summon the merchant place to us at any time. That's interesting. I mean, I, I don't need it, but it's good to know it's there. What do you think, chat? Do you think we're going to have to name another character? Do you think it's 17 hours in the game we've hit all the names possible? I actually just genuinely don't know how to leave this place since it became a flying space fortress. I'm assuming trying to go out through the basement might work. First time I read the black aircraft that looked like the Varuskius. Of course, they took it from Slayheim. I thought it was Mr. Hero's war buddy, a whiz at machines and flying. Okay, so I think that was the real identity of the person that just blew up. But seriously, how do we how do we leave this place? We've never had to physically walk out of here before. Can't defeat an enemy from the outside, destroy him from the inside. Okay. Okay, let's see if the first floor still works, even though we're in the middle of a space fortress. Welcome, Murphy. The Saurus go boom, Murphy. Alright, let's see if the original entrance also serves as an exit. Maybe. Did your disembarking while in play is strictly prohibited? Oh, okay, but then how do I, how do I, how do I land? I've never had to deal this, deal with this before. Does chat have any ideas? Where do you think I should go, chat? I need to make this thing land so I can do something. But we've never had a reason to do that prior to this point. 
Um, I don't see anybody on the other side. Do I have to go through the other doorway? Is this now an exit for us? Hector's like still off limits. Yeah, they keep telling me how to reach different locations, but I'm like, no, 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 I just want to leave the fortress. How do you leave the fortress when it's in flight? Hmm. You gotta use the sensor to find the exit? I hope not. Hopefully this guy is not the person I need to talk to. Even a champion of justice has to put food on the table. There you go, chat. Words to live by. He also restores our ammo for some reason. Okay. Let's try to leave. I'm assuming get off just means exit to the same floor. Dark Red Dove says, Hi friends, Wild Earth 2. Heck yeah, hope you're enjoying the game. It's my absolute favorite game of all time. Nice to meet you. Welcome, Dark Red Dove. We are attempting to figure out how to get out of the chateau while it's in flight. Is there somebody I can talk to here to make this... No, no, not you. We did not willingly go here, so I'm like, we're in kind of an awkward spot, because we've never used the chateau mid-flight before. So I don't know how you're normally supposed to enter. So we can't go through the first floor exit. The off-limit area is still off-limits. Yeah, we have new floors, but I can't do anything on them. Hmm. Can I just, like, call him? To... Or do I need to talk to somebody in here? Kate says, The chief villain is a military genius. Such amazing judgment, and it's so perceptive, yet never predictable in battle. Are you the person I need to talk to? Okay, there we go. We figured out how to escape the chateau. Yeah, I've not played the game before, but we'll we'll see how it goes. So we, we managed to get out of the five floor mystery dungeon. Let's see. Is there anything I want to do first? Area Bill sure, let's go there. I just wanna land. Accidentally went forward. Yeah, let's just leave. Now, let's use our teleport orb to go somewhere. Um... Am I enjoying the game so far? I think it's okay. I think from the standpoint of the translation, it's a, a little loose in some areas, which is a bit unfortunate. But from the standpoint of combat, I'm still mixed. I think there's some improvements over Wild Arms 1, but there's definitely some issues with the system. Let's go ahead and name some new level 2 spells while we're here, though. Let's see. Dark Red Dove, did you want a particular spell named after you? Non-elemental attack spell single. Oh yeah, there's not really like a holy dark anymore, either. Hmm. Let's do the cure ability. Let's name it after gods. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, so re restoring our status is officially using God's Child. Which I want to make sure we learn. So we have it learned now. We have two more crests. Um, yeah, we have a lot of open spells and level twos if you wanted any in particular Dark Red Dove. Otherwise, I'll just pick one for you. Yeah, we have a lot of the damaging ones. We have the single target, not elemental attack. I revive is a good one, sure thing. I 
I forget how many characters this allows. We're gonna find out the hard way. Let's simplify this slightly. It's not enough letters. There we go. Now it fits. Now a full revive is Dark Red Duh. If there's anybody else that wants to name a spell after themselves, by all means, we have, I think, almost... I think all the level 1s are taken. Sadly, we can't rename, uh... Well, we called him Hello, but we can't rename Tim's spells. I guess we'll save for now. So we're gonna go find the subway. The Saurus went boom. Anything I want to upgrade from the shop while I'm here? Probably not. I mean, we're if we're going to a new lo location, I don't need to worry about the shop here. Hmm. Oh, oops, that's right. I have to go through the northern end. So at this point, I think they mentioned they're near the mountain range. I'm assuming it's that one location I couldn't do anything with. So with the weather vane, I can basically permanently ignore encounters, which is kind of tempting, to be honest. Enjoy your lunch, Rob. At some point, I need to get lunch as well. We'll go a little further. Why am I not seeing what I was looking for before? Oh, there it is. This one. <laughs> the encounters are trying to happen, but I'm like, nope. I'm assuming it's right here. Good assumption. As I was saying before, there's no way this was not a unique area. Let's go to the station. Uratu Station is a subway from an industrial guild galant to Slayheim, the now defunct mercenary state. Okay. Now we're living up to more Wild West themes. We needed more trains. Son. Oh, chat. He's just known as Son of Guild Galad Master. Disappointing. Dark Red Dove says, so You planning on playing the other games in the series? You're just kind of taking it as you go. What's the name of this area? Uh, they reuse this in several areas. We're technically in the station. That is a good question, though, gods. I think it might be... Well, I'm not sure, to be honest. If chat knows the name of the song, feel free to mention. The problem is that this is used in several areas. I'll make a note, God's Child. I'll find it for you after the stream. But yeah, the music of the game is pretty solid. Uh, I mean, assuming that, like, it doesn't get, like, super overly ridiculous, I'll probably continue to Wild Arms 3 to answer Dark Red Dove's question. Yeah, it, it plays a lot. It's just, like, a standard town theme. I am Noel Anaheim Guild Galad. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, how do you do? The, the, the pleasure's all ours, I'm sure. I was expecting a much more fearsome looking group, but I'm relieved that you seem quite normal. Being guarded by stern types can get quite tiring. The conductor says, Master Noel is in your hands. Please take good care of him. You'll be heading straight to Guild Galad with no stops. After all, we can't be too careful. The game is called Western Village. That makes sense, Dark Red Dove. As I'm like, I think town when I hear this music. Thank you for helping out. 
beast. Don't let those villains of Odessa harm Master Noel. Kit doesn't need bodyguards. You're right. Almost time for the train to depart. Please start boarding now. Let's be off then, everyone. Wow! This is cool! I'm like, are subways common in this universe? Ashley dot dot dots. Is something the matter? Uh, no. I was just thinking, oh, a freight train. Yes. The Dion Bai Guang is a freight train. Is that a problem? No, it's just that since you're the Prince of Guild Galad, expecting something ornate and glittery. Guild Galad's products are built for quality, not to be pretentious. We emphasize functionality above all else. What need does the son of Guild Galad Master have for a pompously decorated train? And besides, I love the Dion Bai Guang. I'd rather ride this train than any other. Noel, you can talk on the train. Your father will reprimand me if the train doesn't depart on time. Oh, sorry. We'll get aboard right now. Come, let's hurry. The conductor's getting impatient. Away we go, I guess, champ. Awfully pretentious. Really, my father is a problem. He said it's for my protection, but this draws so much attention. I'm in more danger. Ha ha ha. We'll be fine. Or just in case, for when the time comes, it's military power. Asaris, at a time like this, what would you think? Oh no. WWTD chat, what would Thesaurus do? Noel really is very nice. But Noelle's father is quite strange. Vicky, too. Oh, did I speak too bluntly? Oh, never mind, it's... Oh, wrong person speaking. Oh, never mind, it's fine. Father's personality is what it is, but everything he does is for Guild Galad. He, too, wishes to return to a kinder and gentler world. I thought of this before. Why? When all... Excuse me, when all... When we all desire the same results, do people choose such different paths? I have no answer. This tunnel is long. Yes. Originally, this was a cargo route to export goods manufactured in Guild Galad. The scenery before and after the tunnel are dramatically different. This is odd. What is it, Noel? He should be out of the tunnel by now. Let's confirm this with the conductor. Young master! Why are you so excited? Calm down. We can't get out of the tunnel. We're caught in a strange space. We can't even find our position. Oh no, chat. <laughs> we can't be found. We're surrounded by darkness. Did we find the out of bounds? It's here. Looks that way. Time for us to act. Noel, wait here. Yes. I'm going to see the famous arms in action with my own eyes. Well, good thing I restocked my ammo. This would have been a bit awkward. Okay. Why can I not talk to him? Hello? <laughs> Hit detection, please. Please be sure to protect Master Noel and the Dion Bai Guang, just in case save the game. Sure. I think we'll be fine. I mean, we have, uh... We have Hello at a ridiculous level compared to the rest of the party. Repeatable spawnable bosses was a big mistake. <laughs> but we'll take that mistake, and he's now 15 levels above the rest of the party. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna see the famous arms in action with my own eyes. We will protect Master Noel! Just as I thought, something was on its way. Okay, let's continue this way. 
Oh. We're in emulator zone. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I can see why the train wasn't making any distance. Okay, so I can push this. What does that do for us? Anything? Does this do anything? Okay. That does make the color change, but what does that do for me? Oh, it becomes a doorway. Oh! Of course, silly me, Chad. Of course it does. Um, I guess I'll go left. Hmm. Okay. So, what do I do? It's a maze chat. My favorite. I love mazes. Oh, I found progress. Sure, we'll take the encounter. Hmm. Oh, they messed with my party order again. Why did they do that? I don't like it when they do that, chat. need a cube in order to do something in this room. This gate is deactivated. I go back the way we just came. Ooh, so there's... There's the ability to potentially move this. So this is... Telling me that I need a tool in order to deal with this room. Full air... Ballet acquired? Air Ballet is uh, for use with hello. The Air Ballet, press square to transform the surrounding air into a spiral to be fired forward. I think this blocks the statues can be moved from a distance. Okay. So, how many spaces does it move is the question. Just one. Okay. So, I guess we now just go back to the room we came from earlier. Uh oh, chat. Voice in space. The quasi space emulator zone was lured by Randolph, the key map, the magic key. What? Lured by Randolph, the magic key. Hope you meet death in the dimension eternal and rot. Or, excuse me, interval. I don't like the font in this game. It makes it a little hard to read sometimes. Your Odessa's. Oh, Bashley asked. Are you Odessa's Coctus? It's the first time we meet. I'm Kaena. One of Odessa's cactus. Your arms. You arms who opposes. You arms who opposes serpent's hold ideals. Again, it feels like. I think I know what they're trying to go for, but like it doesn't read cleanly due to the translation. Like, is she gonna say another sentence? Like, should that have been a comma for the next one? You arms who oppose Sir Vincefeld ideals. You've got a red light now. Love you stay here in the emulator zone with the train. We must arrive on time as scheduled. We want a green light. <laughs> what? Sure. We want the green light, chat. Oh, translation, you're something else. So, I mean, if this character uses magic, we're basically not gonna take any damage at all here. But I guess we'll see what they do. Let's find the elemental weakness. That day of the demon summoning, if not the sword cathedral. If you hadn't returned alive with the demon inside you, our goals wouldn't be undone. Huh? 
So this was your doing, wasn't it? If so, what are you going to do about it? Bashley Winchester. Oh! He's owing, chat. Oh! You won't get away with this, Odessa. <laughs> he got very dramatic over that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we need the O's, indeed. Let's use some water attacks on him. Then we're gonna shoot him in the face, as you do. See if he's weak to water or earth. Well, there's the magic key that was mentioned before. Big damage. 4D Hypo Blast? We're getting hit through the four dimensions, chat. Uh-huh. You can kill Vicky too. I'm not even gonna be upset by that. Alright, so we did Earth, didn't do extra damage. Does Water do any extra damage? Let's roll out some elements here. Nope. Hopefully this hits for big damage. That is kind of our damage weapon. I'm not gonna bother healing. So the water's out. Let's do ice. Fire? Let's fish for a weakness. I kind of wish he would target hello so we could use his level twos. Oh, there we go. You hit hello. What a fool! <laughs> right, chat. You're not. You're not killing hello. He might as well as be immortal. <laughs> you know the boss is in trouble when it does zero damage to the mage. Yeah, this is why we're not gonna bother healing, chat. the boss fight. Ashley hit level 25. Congratulations. Darn. The mental convergence broke. As long as the generator is running, we can maintain the emulator zone. Looks like we better hurry. Oh yeah, that boss got dunked on. Yeah, basically Hello is an unkillable child. <laughs> they, they kept referring to him as attaining the power, and they're not kidding. Stop. I wonder what they're scheming this time. I don't know. Proceed. Until we destroy this emulator zone, we can't get back. Oh, you know it's gonna make me do a teleport puzzle, chat. You know without any doubt, you know it's gonna go there. I'm surprised it hasn't happened already. Oh, here- oh, here it comes! Oh, is this pick a path? Oh, yeah, chat. We're in for a wild ride. Of course it's a teleport puzzle. What else would it be? Oh, uh, boy. Well, we're starting off easy at least. I know. I felt in my heart of hearts. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. There are other places I can go. So, there is a doorway. Hmm. So, question. I step on this one, where does this take us? So it seems like we end up in the same area, right? Will this be where the red cube is? It is. So, if I take the wrong warp, quote unquote, I'm gonna end up in this room. Let me get into one encounter here before we go further. I just wanna heal up. Then I gotta think about this. So we're just gonna have her use fire for now. You can attack and you can just AoE heal because you're a god. There we go. In case we have another boss fight, no sense of going in with low health. my life easier. I mean, any spell I do here is faster than using Turn Undead, so I might as well just do this one. Antidote acquired? Okay, that might be relevant later.
Okay, so let's let's go in with a fresh mindset. What are we looking to do to solve the teleport puzzle? So if I take this port. So put me in this room. Do I want to just go through the northern or northern door? I guess it's eastern. We're kind of here. We took a warp. So if I go through here, does this lead me to the same area? Alright, so both of them confirm. Both doorways take me to the same spot. Thank you, come on, first. I'm surprised. So, what is the trick to this area? We're here. There's a warp there. There's a passageway down there. So remember the last room I was in? Interesting. Hmm. Do I just drop down and take the door that's up here? Indeed, Fantasy Star. Oh, hello. This is progress. There's a warp here. We play a lot of Fantasy Star here. Warp there. Oh boy. So there, there's a lot of warps here. Um... Let's take the most inconveniencing one first. Mm -hmm. Uh oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, chat, this is turning into quite a maze. Might have to reset the room to figure- Oh, there was a door up there. I think I missed that. It might have been it, actually, sadly. That's also the problem with the camera. I couldn't see the door until I, like, literally stepped on it. If I fall off, what does this do? Does this reset the room? No. That's kind of unfortunate, actually. I think I might have actually had it briefly by just picking stuff randomly. We're gonna walk through here. Oh. Sure, we'll pretend I understood that puzzle. <laughs> right, chat? We'll just nod and go, yep, I totally got what was happening. <laughs> the, like the five rooms I was in. That works, I guess. It seems to be the generator creating the emulator zone. What should I do? Should I bash it? We won't be able to deliver Noel back until we destroy the zone that's holding the train. It might be a bit rough, but let's try something. Hmm. So it's a little far away, so I'm imagining we just air shot this. Oh no, do we have to find three different exits? Oh no, the puzzle returns. That is unfortunate. Yikes. Um, jeez, how do we even reset the puzzle from here? Though I think that door I saw before would have worked, so we still need to find more warps. I wish I could see the full room. I wish there was like a zoom out option. I only have one choice here. That puts us in here, where we have a couple choices again. So it feels like I just went in a circle just now. That was unproductive. There are two warps over here, so what if I take the further of the warps? Put me near a door. Is this the one I just came from? No, it's not. Oh, this is where I first entered. Uh, I, where I, or I think it is. Wait, is it? <laughs> they look kind of similar. If I can't get back up here, okay. So this is the first room I was in, and now I'm in room number two. So the question is, what do I do for room number two? Hmm. Uh... We came in through that side.
We have all these other choices. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, Chad. I'm feeling a little lost as to what to do. Do I try one of the upper ones? Or do I have to go back to the first room and then go find the right door? Hmm. I don't think it's color-coded. I have a lot of choices here. <laughs> it keeps trying to do a random encounter with me, and I'm like, listen, I'm confused enough. I don't need encounters messing me up. This looks a little different than the room we were in before, and it might just lead back to the one we already pushed. Oh no, this is a different one. Okay, you know what? We'll take that chat. I don't understand what I did differently to get here, but that's all that's fun. <laughs> we'll brute force the puzzle. Uh, so, there's multiple tiers. Uh, I'll take the middle one, I guess. There's switches in every direction, but is there a door? That's the thing I'm not understanding, is like where the door is. And the problem is I need to rotate the camera because I can't see where things are. So I might need to have a, a concept of where north is. Try going here. Like... I don't see a door down there. Is there a door over here? No. There's a door there. Hmm. Take the pink one. Yeah, if we didn't have to rotate the camera so much, I think I'd be a little less disoriented. I think that's a big issue with the game. It's just like, I'm trying to keep track of like where the door is relative to how we entered the room, but I also can't see the door without rotating or like committing to a direction. Like there, I wouldn't have seen it right away had I not rotated. Is that a new one? No, it is not. Do we need one more down. So I exited... So this is like a north exit. I don't recall if we went through the south or uh, in the east exit maybe before? So we basically need to hit something in order to proceed. Yeah, let me think about this. Let's... Over here, I think I saw there was a warp over here. We have two choices. I could stay in the middle, or I could go forward with it. I think last time I went here. I just want to make sure I'm making some progress. So I think I went here earlier. Big progress. And then I can take this one, maybe. And if this is one we've already been to, then I might know which one I didn't do. I guess the way to just... Ha, dance, dance. That's the name of an ability. Though I think... There's only one set of warps I haven't taken, if I've been paying attention to the directions correctly. As I said before, it's a little more complicated just due to the fact that I, I'm constantly rotating the camera. But hopefully I did not mess this up. Though if I end up in a door and one more teleport... Then that is good. Then I think I understand how the puzzle is working. So basically there's at least... I think there's either two or three rooms that all look the same here, but they aren't the same. So the position of the warp matters. I did not accidentally double take a door. So that led to another door. Okay, so that's a promising sign. 
question is, where do I go from here? So I've confirmed this. I dare... How do I position this so this makes sense to me is the question. We went through what I'm assuming is the southern exit. So we we rolled out the north and the south. So I think I need to come from... I have to go to an eastern exit now. Let's see. I skip. I think we took that one already. Let's try this one. Let, let's just touch this one. Question is on this room. Yeah, this is the room where I wasn't sure where to go, because there's so many choices here. Hmm. To try the middle? I've been avoiding the middle. Maybe this will be a different door? Just looking to see if there's a door in this area. There is. Okay. Hopefully this is the new one. No, it's this one. Damn. Alright, so at least I know how to go back from that other one, but that doesn't answer the question of how do I get to the other door then. So I have to come out the... And, so, Wes, Wes is returning to... Am I looking at that correctly? I don't know if I am. Honestly, I'm like, my brain is so shot. I forget what direction the compass normally points here. One second chat is I just look at a compass really quickly. I always forget which one, if it's silver or red, because they're technically opposite of each other. I think it has to be red as north. In which case, I'll try something different. I'm just trying to think through the rooms, chat. Just give me a moment. So, okay. So let me let me redo my thinking then. So I think. I always forget if it's white or red is north, so I think I went forward with the assumption that white was north, which I don't think is correct. Let me try one small difference and see if this leads me to where I need to go. We're now in this room. How do I get back to where I was before? We went to... We have a warp there, so that's north. So we came in for the west side. is a warp over there, which might be what I need. So this... If it rotates through the rooms like 1, 2, 3, this should put me in front of a door, right? Okay, that's good. Did I do this one? I did. Okay. So, with that in mind, I now need to go to the eastern exit, so I need to think about what I need to do differently from here. We took the... We took the top one that led to the north one. The question is, from here, I have a couple of warps I can walk to, but will they take me to the second room or the third room? So ultimately, I, I kept going between, like, room one, room two, but I didn't find, like, the room three exit, if that makes sense. So I think then I didn't get the south exit. And I think I confused myself. So I think I already got the east exit before, based off the compass. We took number f that one right in front of room number two exit. Or was it number? I guess it's number one. So we took room number one's exit. Then from here, we went back to the other area by going in the middle, I think. And then that's how we ended up at the other wharf. And then if I go to the right here, there should be a door, right? There's a door over there. So let's go take the door. That way we roll it out. So we've now gone north, east. Oh, we didn't actually go through this one yet. My bad. 
Maybe we did miss the east one and it just got confused. Did anything happen? First, let's return to the train. It's said to be good for buying time, but I won't be doing that. There's Irene chat. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, we... we I was gonna just repeat the cardinal directions until I found which one I missed. We have to exit to the west in order to go back to the train, in case we have to walk there manually. Irene! Odessa's hired you. You should reconsider. Odessa is a terrorist group which has brought turmoil and destruction to fill Gaia. I'm aware of that. If so, then why? Ashley Winchester. I have my own reasons why I must fight you. <laughs> is it to be dunked on every boss battle? Or should I say, I have my reasons why I need to hunt that demon that lurks inside of you. On a mission to exercise evil. That's true too. But it's not all there is. The blood in my body is the blood of a hero. As a descendant of the Sword Magus, I am destined to destroy the demon. Sword Magus? That's right. I've lived until today with the purpose of fighting the demon. I've thrown away my womanhood and body and lived as a human concealed weapon. I have no resentment towards you, but I do have n but I do have reason to take your life. Um I move Vicky in the back row. Do something like this. That should be fine. Uh... Oh, I could just boot them from the party? Oh, that's scary. That's not what I thought that did. So mid-fight, you can just change it. We've never had a reason to do this before. Um... Is it faster if I just don't bring in the other party members? I think it would be, right? I just... really need you. <laughs> right, Chad? Like... I don't think so. Yeah, let's just not have her in the battle. It's fine. I'd rather they hit one of these two party members, to be honest with you. Okay, let's try... Burn. I mean, the worst that happens is I just bring in another character mid-battle. But hopefully they hit hello, so I could get more meter. Oh, they hit Bashley. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's a big damage. Did it 3,000 damage? Uh, I guess I'll bring her in then. I'll bring her in just to heal. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing damage with her. We'll do another bolt action. Well, I could combine, but it is weak. I think maybe if I swapped who had what, it might be a little stronger. We'll use her ability to heal with Big Berry. But I think it'll be over in like one more turn. It's just unfortunate she hit Bashley instead of Hello. Wow, when Vicky dodges, you should feel embarrassed. She doesn't even have good armor, chat. That's just embarrassing. Hopefully this hits. Then I think she's dead next turn. Most bosses at this point seem to have between 5,000 and 7,000 HP. But she might be on the upper end right now. I guess I could combine to kill her, because it's funny. Sure, why not? We'll just... We'll, we'll just Ert Amp him. This should make up any damage. I think he might just die here. Probably will die, actually. Oh, survived. Let's see if she kills steals. She did. <laughs> 4,000 XP. Vicky hit level 25. The emulator zone's generator has been damaged. Looks like this quasi space won't last too long. Let's call a temporary truce. We get sucked into the zone's collapse. We'll spend eternity as the dead. The only way to get out is to blast the train through the self-repairing dimension at high speed. 
Hurry, Bashley. I mean, I was gonna combine kill them, but whatever. Why are you helping us? Answer me, Irene. It's rather commonplace, but to me, my reasons are important. I do it because I'm the legendary sword that pierces you. I'm gonna kill you, actually, how about a truce, pretty much. Irene, this is the destiny of the descendant of the sword mages. Wait! Destiny. Do I really have to battle you for such a flimsy reason? Why do we in the present have to be bound to the destiny from the past? By carrying out my destiny, I've been able to believe in myself. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand the confusion of an uncertain self. Oh, we're at a time limit? Uh... Chat, uh... Let, let me think about this before I go in circles for like five minutes. Okay, so we're exiting... We went through the... Okay, so we're on the east side. We need to go back to the entrance somehow. Can we do it in a limited number of moves? Question. I don't think we can. Hmm. Unless I could go on the far side. Maybe the far side will work? Maybe this will work. I'm gonna reorient so this is north. I basically just need to go back to the beginning. The question is, where do I stand for that? I'm trying to think back before I go in big circles. So we went to the bottom left. That will put us a little further in. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. If I think if we go left here, this should be correct if I've been paying attention. Okay, good. I've been paying attention. I had to- I had to replay every single step that we took, chat. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, okay, what- did I go north, south, east, or west from there? And I had to think about the camera. Now we're out of here. Oh wait, hold on. Why am I still here? Should be the exit, right? Alright, so now we're here. I'm gonna go this way, I think? Does north put me back to where I want to be? I think it will. Perfect. Okay, so there- so that room has dead ends, and I took advantage of that. Okay, we figured it out. So it's not like an infinite hallway. It's like that, uh... It's like that one horrible forest puzzle where it just looped around randomly. Oh well. Hurry and start the train! Yes, now's not the time to ask why. Roger, emergency ignition start. Yeah, that, that was panic puzzle solving, chat. Yeah. More. Can't you go any faster? This is the limit. If we go any faster, the train will explode. Ooh, that sounds fun. Move all the passengers to the cars in front. Rear cars are cargo. I just checked. What concerns me is Odessa's motives. Aren't they targeting you? Can you think of anything else? Do they plan to take me hostage for a ransom? Funds are needed to run organizations. Their terrorists are no different. Hmm. Hey, hey! Isn't that what they call the dimension scam? Oh, <laughs> that was something that said scam. Isn't that what they call the dimension scene? But it looks like it'll close up at any moment. Faster. Don't ask the impossible. I've been telling you it's going to explode. Detach the rear cars. It'll make us go faster. What's this spot exactly? Young master, th that's... Is there a problem? The rear cars are all cargo. Human life cannot be replaced. Or is there something I don't know about? N no, nothing, sir. Then hurry. This... I mean, I kind of like Dimension Scam, I'm not gonna lie. 
take no responsibility for what may happen. Release the rear cargo cars. Cargo, definitely not people. I was gonna say, Illusion of Gaia, they had uh, cargo in quotes as well. Oh my, I'm sure to catch hell for this. I'm sorry about the train, Noel, but we had to sacrifice it to save you. Don't worry about the train. My father hired you to guard me. You've done that job splendidly. But you were very fond of the train, weren't you? I was, but your concern is consolation enough. Young master, what do we do now? I want you to repair Dion Bai Guang. We'll go on ahead and return to Guild Galad at once. If I don't get back soon, father will be furious. Ashley, let's make let's make haste. Guild Galad is located on reclaimed land northeast of the station. Hmm. I probably want to take a little break here. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually check to see if there were any items here. There is. Somewhere. Hopefully the other station didn't have something, because I definitely did not look. Oh. That solves that question, then. Lucky comb acquired. Oh no, is hello getting tankier? Chat, no! <laughs> Chat, he only has one weakness currently. Don't give him more defense. So he's as tank tanky as Bashley is. But his magic resistance is horrendously high. What a god. So we want to at least get to a save point. So let's play until we hit another save point. Oh, never mind. We did not go very far. Yeah, session went a little longer than expected, but that's fine. I definitely need to gift some food now, though. But we'll save our progress. Let's talk about our thoughts and feelings so far. Hopefully the audio wasn't too bad. Thank you, Dark Red Dot, for the follow. Appreciate it. Go to Let's Chat. You're wide open. No, I think from our perspective, we have uh, basically at least a, a straightforward plot point to go to for next time. So we're gonna go to Guild Galad, and then maybe we'll get some upgrades for the other characters. I don't really feel like upgrading Vicky. I'm hoping we get another melee character instead. Because her damage is just so far behind, I just don't have a use for her, sadly. Whereas, like, the characters that had arms were so hilariously overpowered, <laughs> they're literally doing double her damage. And we saw in some instances triple damage. So we're probably gonna dump her as soon as we can get rid of her. Sorry, Vicky. Yeah, I feel like they kind of scammed her by just having, like, very mediocre low-level magic. And I feel like... Tim slash hello's spells are just so much better. And we haven't even, like, he has an AoE heal that he could just spam forever, and his base damage is higher. Whereas, like, he might not scale up eventually, so maybe when she hits, like, level 48 or something, we're gonna get more use out of her. But I think until that point, it's just, I don't have a solid reason to use her. A lot of the spells that I would say would have been, like, run-defining from Wild Arms 1, where I did feel like the magic user potentially was really good in certain fights. I don't- I just feel like she's just been really heavily nerfed. Now, obviously, we have super levels on Tim, so we don't have to worry about, uh, being too weak for boss encounters. But yeah, we don't really have an equivalency item to really pump her up. And they're also sharing magic boosts. So if I have to choose right now between her and, uh, Hello, I'm going to choose Hello. Who, knew, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to farm the Necronomicon like we unintentionally found in the first game. Maybe if we get two of them, maybe it'll be worth having them. Because I think the intent would be is maybe later on enemies start having resistance to everything. So maybe if we do a double mage party where she uses that 70 point spell to remove resistances, maybe she'll have a purpose in, in like a very magic focused group. And also sadly she has armor down, but... 
it also costs 70 points, whereas in Wild Arms 1, that was just something we could get, like, within the first 10 hours of the game. So, a little disappointing that we're basically never going to be able to use that ability for possibly the length of the game, depending on how much we level, to be honest. Because we're getting, like, what, between 8 and 12 points when we get struck? So in order to get to 70, we would probably need at least 45 points. So she needs to be about the same level as Hello now to maybe, maybe use it and it would be useful. But that's like three turns where she has to take hits, survive, and still output damage. Which I don't have faith in at the moment. I do think Bashley, once we upgraded his gun, is now competitive with the ridiculously overpowered uh, Hello. So we'll see. I, I think the gun users will still reign supreme. That's not too different than Wild Arms 1 in that sense. But I do feel like the power level of the mages has been like severely nerfed. And I think it's just the content the concept of not being able to heal or cure outside of combat, mixed with the ability that their AoE spells, which was like the main reason that they were good in Wild Arms 1 early on, uh, not having access to an AoE just kind of sucks. Like, I know a lot of people online complained about Valkyrie being useless. Like, you could go and check online if you don't believe me. A lot of people were saying that spell was useless. It literally saved us so much time on so many encounters, and we used it basically until the end of the game. I think because people didn't understand how the resistance system worked. They thought it was weak. But we saw entire encounters one-shot by it. So, like, when you figure out where it's useful, it was really good. Where with this character, it's like, unless we find weakness, we just don't seem to be doing enough damage, and we're not doing enough AoE on top of that. Valkyrie is good, unlock my spell. I mean, your spell wasn't any different than Valkyrie. Your spe the, the Holy Spell plus Valkyrie did the same thing, where they did seven elements, but the problem with Wild Arms 1 is if they had one resistance at all, it, you did no damage. That was the trade-off. So, like, I don't mind them returning to that. I just wish it would have done reduced damage. Like, I think it was too punishing to, like, not memorize every single enemy resistance. It should have just done half damage. Because if we had an AoE half damage spell, I would probably have taken that if she goes first. Because we could probably pump her damage good enough to one-shot encounters, even if they're resistant. That's a bit unfortunate. So yeah, definitely a big step down. Like, it, it's weird because it even has, like, the crest system, but the way the MP to force point conversion is, I do feel like she's just way, way weaker than our character in Wild Arms 1. Like, no contest weaker. I think that also doesn't help that we got the Necronomicon, which let us get broken stats. But I guess in a way we leveled Tim slash hello, so he is broken stats like we got the Necronomicon. I guess that's kind of fair. We're emulating Wild Arms 1, chat. How's that? It's, it's not our fault the boss is cloning himself and he gives boss level XP for every clone. That's not our fault, chat. Not our fault. Anyway, we're going to pause here. I'm going to listen back to the audio. I might tweak the audio for later tonight. Uh, but I think from this standpoint, uh, nothing much else to add. This game is cool. Enjoy your lunch. Yeah, hopefully we'll go through. There's, uh, I think, five games in the series and they have a remake. I haven't decided if I wanted to do the Wild Arms 1 remake or not. We'll see. But I think from that standpoint, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.